Hey, welcome to Get Business Credit YouTube channel. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I appreciate your patience for this late night uh, live stream. If you guys can hear me, let me know you can hear me because I had some internet issues with my router. So I just bought a new router, and hopefully it's better now. Anyways, we'll give a few minutes for people to tune in here. I know it's late, and sorry it was uh, such a late live stream. <clears throat> so you guys let me know if you guys have any issues either in between this live stream, if you guys have any issues hearing me or my face gets blurry or anything like that, okay? Um... Let's see here. All right. A few more minutes and then we'll get started, you guys. All right. Um, had a lot going on this week, and I'll let you guys know that. That's why I haven't uh, posted much content this week. Had some unfortunate events uh, happen. Can't really see it here. Um, but anyways, we'll get started here in a minute. Um, and I'll let you guys know what, what's going on and everything. But anyways, you guys can see I got... Uh, a TV set up here in the back before it's just some speakers at the new studio. Um, I just threw that up today, but, uh, you know, plan on putting some other information on that to utilize teaching you guys with business credit. Um, so we will get started right now it looks like we got over 25 people live right now so if you guys have any questions at all like i said always in all my live streams if you guys have any questions at all on um, i sh should say simplified questions for building business credit put it in the comment section uh, to the side or below but if it's a very complex question then shoot me an email, support at joshvanhorn.com. Um, so last week I kind of planned to do, you know, five or six videos. And early last week um, I went out and was with a few friends. And uh, afterwards, after having a few drinks, then I uh, got mugged by myself walking home mug jumped by four guys and got a pretty good beat down but uh they took my phone i had to buy a brand new phone it's like a 900 hundred dollar phone they stole that they stole some cash and first time in my life something like that ever happened but uh you know thankfully you know i'm okay i just got a few scuffs and bruises so all good on that um so i needed like two or three days because my ribs were hurting pretty bad um so i'm getting kicked a couple times you know so there's bad apples everywhere um but now i'm feeling a lot better so that's why you guys didn't hear me basically for like a couple of days um anyways um like i said yeah the most important thing is is i'm okay and everything can be replaced, you know, that they got away with. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to be giving away grants this uh, live stream, quite a few grants. Because um, I know I've slacked on that for the last couple of weeks, just been so busy and stuff with everything. And then moved into the new studio here and the Internet's been I don't know if it's the modem or if it's the router, but we got a new uh, router today that's made for streaming. So hopefully this is okay. Or, or I don't know if it's StreamYard server or not. Um, 
because the videos are fine. It's just streaming. Seems like there's always an issue. Every time I went to do the live stream, I was doing, trying to do it last night, and it kept giving me an air of saying that my signal is unstable. So, yeah, I didn't want to do a live stream and be all blurry. So you guys let me know in the comment section or the live stream comment section if I get blurry or uh, you guys can't hear me or anything. Okay. So without further ado, let's get started. Like I said, you guys have any questions, shoot them in the comment section. I'll go through and answer those. If you guys want me to look up your credit safe profile, <clears throat> as always, I'll do that too. Um, just put your company name and the city and state where your company is out of, and I'll do. I'll check that. Um, but some of you guys may not saw the video I just put out like 30, 40 minutes ago. And it's about uh, small business payroll services. So a lot of people think, you know, you just started your business. It's only you or you and your wife or you and your husband. You don't need payroll services. But, um, you know, for $60, $70 a month for companies like Paydeck or uh, Paychex or ADP to handle kind of um, – even paying yourself, they can handle that. You just tell them, you know, what you want to be paid and then they're going to issue like a check and you'll get like the same as like a W-2. Even if you're a single member LLC, it can, you can still do it that way. Um, so especially when you try to do like say loans on the personal side or even credit cards, personal credit cards, it will always ask you if you're employed or self-employed, you know, I hate to say this, but some lenders are not just lenders, but credit card issuers, banks are kind of, they kind of discriminate against people that hit self-employed. Um, <clears throat> so you could hit employed, even though you're the owner of the company. And then if anything ever needed to be checked, then, you know, you have pay stubs and all that, that would be issued through the payroll company. Um, Paychex is probably the second largest payroll service out there. And like I said, like their smallest packages is like, I think one to four, one to five employees. And it's, I think $59 a month. They handle all the withholding and everything. And then they pay it quarterly to uh, the different government agencies, such as the IRS, um, Social Security, Medicare, your state, local, school taxes, all that. They handle all that for like $59 a month. And then it's like $4 per employee. Um, it just depends on the payment frequency that you want to be paid. And then they just do say like a weekly draw from your bank account for your payroll. Um, so I don't want to bore you guys with all that, but I think it's something that is, you know, very much overlooked when you start a business, even myself for the six different companies I have, I have payroll services for uh, four out of the, out of the six and all four of them, I get a paycheck through, even though I'm the owner of the company. And, you know, four out of the six are uh, single member LLCs. The other two are a S Corp and a C Corp. But I get paid through those because I want to be able to show, in case I ever needed to, um, be able to show to any lender. I can show, hey, look, you, you know, I'm employed. It doesn't matter if I'm the owner or not, you know. So just, you know, th that helps. And then, the other thing is like paychecks, ADP does report as well to the business credit bureaus, but I don't have enough data to give you guys on ADP, but ADP is the largest uh, payroll service out there. Um, but Paychex is the second. They're a huge company. They report to Dun & Bradstreet and they report to Experian. And the rep that I spoke to said he thinks they report to Equifax business as well. Uh, but the only ones I can actually confirm for is um, the Equi or Experian business and Dun & Bradstreet. So whatever your monthly payment is, 
it's going to, you know, if you have seven employees, you're going to have a different, you know, monthly fee than say, uh, you know, one employee or owner operator, you know, um, so it's going to be anywhere from like say 60 bucks and it can go up to however many employees and how many different add on extra services that you want. Um, but they report that payment kind of the same as like nav business boost, but it is reporting kind of, you know, as actual trade line, um, to the business credit bureau. So, you know, it's just one more thing that, you know, can help your, uh, you know, business credit profiles, not just build up business credit, but to solidify to lenders say in six months or one year from now, your goal is to go get a, fleet of say four semi trucks or um no pg auto loans whatever the case may be having a payroll service is creating some paper trail documents so you can provide more than what any bank's going to actually ask but in case they ever would ask you have all that and it actually will save you a lot of money too when it comes to your taxes at the end of the year if you hire an accountant yeah, um, especially if you're a bigger business, say you have four or five or 10 employees, you know, and you say right now we're just paying them under the table or as independent contractor, if you pay them through, say, um, a payroll service such as paychecks, you can still have them set up as like a you no know, taxes taken out as an independent contractor. But uh, paychecks is actually going to be the one actually paying them, issuing them the payment, either through like direct deposit or through um, the ACH direct deposit, or they can send an actual like Visa MasterCard. Uh, they can just take out, you know, their, you know, the paycheck out of that, or they can issue an actual check. Um, but you always have records of all that you know, and then you can give all that to your accountant and kind of streamline everything. So it really does save you, even though you may spend like 70 bucks to a hundred bucks or so, you know, a month for a payroll service to manage, you know, your uh, payroll and everything. And at the end of the day, you know, if you're trying to save, you know, you know, time is money. So if you just hire, say, a payroll company, even if you're a small new company, hire them. And a year from now, you're going to be, you know, glad you did because time is money. And it's like you don't want to spend all your time managing all your net 30 trade lines. You say you have five different gas cards and other net 30 accounts. That alone is, you know, a job in itself, ordering from all those and making sure they're all paid on time. You know, so if you can try to alleviate a lot of that, you know, time that you're spending, you could actually utilize that time better and grow your business, you know. So, you know, it's uh, something I, you know, wanted to put out there because a lot of, you know, so-called business credit channels out there and Facebook groups really don't talk about it. Um you know, on foundation of building business credit, but actually structuring your business the right way and doing things to help you succeed in the future. You're not starting a business to fail, obviously. So I'm trying to give you guys all the tools that you need, um, you know, to be able to succeed, you know, on all asset aspects of it. I can't talk today, but, um, you know, you don't want to just you know, go after net 30 trade lines and then, you know, wing it on everything else on accounting and your books and stuff, you know, you can, you know, have quick books or fresh books, any of those, you know, 10, $20, you know, accounting softwares and you can do most of it yourself. It's fine. Especially if you're a small business owner, but as far as money goes, taxes to the government, if you ever get audited and you're not, you know, putting the money in the right places and, you know, keeping a record of everything, you know, self-employment tax is quite high. I know from experience, I pay quite a bit, you know, so when you have a payroll service, it just helps because they just take that out, you know, 
along the way. So you, you can actually change it. Say this week you only made as the business owner, you didn't make as much as you made the week before. So you can just log into your say paychecks accounting, um, payroll account and change the amount that you want them to actually pay you or pay any employee for say that week. And then you can issue yourself a bonus. They can send you, you know, the bonus to your bank account, your personal bank account that is, you know, so you want everything to be structured the right way. So when you, you know, go to get 500,000, a million dollars in say semi trucks or, you know, construction loan or whatever the case may be, you, you have everything set up correctly, correctly. Um, I just found that, you know, they report to the business credit bureau. So that's also, you know, an added benefit, you know, so if you guys have any questions about that, I have it, um, in the other video. So if you didn't watch that video, check out that video. I put the, uh, paychecks rep contact information, email, you can reach out to them or you can go just go to paycheck. It's P A Y C H E K X.com and just click on the small business part, um, you know, and they'll customize a solution for you, no matter if you're, a, you know, one man shop, one woman shop, or 100 employees. <clears throat> Payroll's not expensive compared to what people think. Back in the day, people think, oh, you're gonna hire a payroll company, it's gonna cost you, you know, an arm and a leg. It really doesn't. So I know it's the boring part of, business but um i just wanted to put that out there um so let me get to the comments and then i'll get back to uh the grants because we're definitely going to give away more grants tonight than um ever before so if you did apply for the grant make sure for one you're in the live stream you that's the requirement, and you had to have filled out the application on gbcgrant.com. Again, that's gbcgrant.com. So if you didn't fill out the application on there, you won't be included in this week's uh, or tonight's uh, grant winners. Um, I'll give three or four out tonight, and those are ones that were um, already filled out, filled out a grant application. And... Journey Farms, I know I owe you from last time I had PayPal issue, um, but that's going to be all taken care of on this round of grants. I'm doing it all mass pay one time. All right, so. <clears throat> and you guys let me know too, if you guys when you started your business credit building journey, what you got approved for so far, how long did it take you? And, you know, what type of trade lines are you looking for right now? Or what type of credit are you looking for right now? Um, you know, I can give you guys some tips on that, especially when it comes to any type of transportation company. You, some of you guys may get sick of the videos that it's going to come out next week because I did a poll on uh, about a week ago asking how many people are in the logistics and transportation business because I have a lot of new resources and uh, funding for companies that are in logistics and transportation companies. Um, so just be patient if you own a salon or you have an online company and you know be, be patient with me because i'll have quite a few videos coming up that are just basically for people that are in the transportation and logistics business um so but i'll get on to other ones as well next week that will be beneficial for everybody all right uh let's see here la thanks for tuning in this evening and you guys all thank you so much for the patience and thanks for tuning in i know it's so late and um 
happy advanced Father's Day to all you fathers out there. <clears throat> Journey Farms, uh, hear me loud and clear. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Ed Ray, hey, what's up, Ed? Thanks for tuning in. And uh, Mr. J, hello. Hello, Jacqueline. Ed Ray, okay. Um, also, if you guys already applied for the GBC grant, and it's only for those that are not already winners in the past, because I want to give a chance for everybody else to, um, you know, get a chance to win as well. I think there's over 700 applicants right now um, in the portal uh, that submitted applications. So if you applied for the uh, Get Business Credit, gbcgrant.com, um, and you're on the live stream right now, and you want to be included in one of the three or four people that I'm giving away the grants to tonight, make sure that you put your uh, just your first name and your company name that you applied on the uh, gbcgrant.com because I'll basically just skim through those and basically just randomly pick based on a few questions that I actually um, put in the application for you guys to fill out. Hey, Mark. Mark says, great setup. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. A brand new setup compared to before. I had a green screen just because I hated the um, office room that I was in at the other place. So this is a brand new place just built. Uh, Jackie, yep, I'm okay now. Just a few sore bones and bruises and muscles. <clears throat> Hang on, you guys. I'm going to move this around so I'm not always staring at the... staring away from you guys so I can look more at the camera. All right, yeah, that's much better. I have three monitors set up, so it's like I'm have one for the camera streaming, one for what I'm showing you guys, and it makes it easier this way. Uh, let's see here. And, uh, bless your heart, Josh. Yep, I'm all right, definitely all right. TR, let's see here. Your emojis didn't come through, TR. Um, oh, okay. I just, I have to go back to YouTube uh, studio to see that. Yeah. Thank you so much, TR. Thank you, Journey Farms. Hey, what's up, Rod in the house? You guys uh, check out Rod Points Blank Travel. Um, he tuned in. Uh, he just put out a video about uh, Navy Federal uh, Cash Rewards card. So you guys definitely check his channel out after this live stream. Um, let me see here. I'll show you guys here real quick. Uh, so check out uh, Rod over at Points Blank Travel. You know, um, definitely subscribe to his channel. He just put out this video today. Um, give you a lot of good information. If you're able to join Navy Federal or if you're already a member of Navy Federal, he breaks it down. It's probably the best overall card with Navy Federal and probably one of the best cards out of any personal credit card. I would say it's in the top 10 or so. In my opinion, gives 1.5% cash back pretty much on everything, and there's a $200 sign-up bonus. Um, he breaks it down pretty easily. Go over to his channel, Points Blank Travel on YouTube after the stream. And make sure you subscribe. I know you guys are here for business credit, but 
you know, I want to give him a plug. He deserves it. Uh, you know, and he does a good job and he's very funny, you know, so definitely check out, like I said, points blank travel on YouTube. He's a, you know, very funny guy and gives all the facts about personal credit cards. Um, all right, let's see here. JJ Monkey Douglas. Thanks, man. Yep, I'm okay. Mark, yeah, the, they won't get caught. That's pretty much guaranteed. Not in this country. It just doesn't happen. Uh, learn, see, taste. Sorry to hear that. Glad you're okay. Yep, I'm okay. Yep, Rod, I'm definitely okay. That's, you know, when I was uh, sent you that message the other day, uh, that's why I didn't respond to some. If some of you guys have my text phone number, you guys sent me a text message saying the last like three or four days, and I didn't respond. And that's because my phone was gone. I had like six accounts, even my YouTube account. Like it's priceless, it's worth so much money, you know. I couldn't even get into my YouTube account. Like because I had double authentication on everything and everything was locked to that phone. Thankfully, with Google support, waiting like 24 hours, they were able to get me back into my all my accounts and everything. Um, you know, so but if anybody sent me any text messages, all those text messages are pretty much lost and don't have you guys' number anymore if I've been in communication with you. Um, so you know, if you're one of those, shoot me a text, 937-877-2009. Again, 937-877-2009. Shoot me a text, um, you know, just so, because I basically had to re-download the app and everything, and it was a headache. That's what I've been, you know, pretty much doing uh, for the last 24 hours or so. LA, how are you doing? Um, uh, yep, I'm okay. And hopefully we can talk later on tonight, uh, Ellie, catch up because it's been a while. Um, Jannard, uh, okay. Uh, let me look that up real quick. You want me to check your... Do you want me to check your credit uh, credit safe profile or did you apply for the GBC grant? Make sure you guys put that in the comment section so you know which one. But I'm pretty sure you're talking about credit safe. So let me uh, pull that up here. All right, let's see, let me, it would, it would help if I shared the screen here. Okay, yeah, so, uh, Gennard McDonald, you're at a, uh, your business is a risk score of 57 and recommended credit limit is 2000. Um, you started, was it uh, last, was it um, yeah, August? So you're coming up on a year, so that's good. You have a total balance of 785. Uh, last updated was 512.21. Uh, all current, so looks like you have two trade lines and you had two inquiries. So not sure who those are, but um, as far as credit safe goes, I've been telling you guys for the longest time and I don't want to keep bringing it up, but I will have the guy from credit safe on the channel. It's just, you know, been kind of playing phone tag and 
So that'll be in due time, but um, don't worry too much about credit safe if you don't if you're not listed with credit safe right now. Um, but you know, out of the four main business credit bureaus, this is I would say the fourth one. And you know, probably after one or two years, since they're really making a big market in the U.S. market, they're going to be uh, used more and more by vendors and trade lines and banks. I know I've said this before, but if you guys look it up, Credit Safe is the largest business credit bureau in the world. They're larger than Dun Dun and Bradstreet, Equifax, and Experian. They're the largest in the world. However, they pretty much control all of Europe the UK and other markets of the world. But they're in the last 10 years, they've really been pushing the US market, especially the last 24 months or so. Um, and there's a lot of major players that are switching from say Dun and Bradstreet because it gets costly and stuff. So they switch to credit safe. Um, Walt Disney licensing and NFL licensing. Uh, they give you net 30 terms if you have like a say t-shirt company or you want to you know sell sports merchandise or Walt Disney character merchandise t-shirts whatever you can get net 30 terms through like say Walt Disney and NFL and um, they actually pull through credit safe so um, to give you the credit line that came directly from credit safe um all right so i hope that helps you there Gennard. um tyrone what's up man everything's okay now good to see you tuning in thanks again you guys for the patience and tuning in tonight i know it's so late uh ulysses hill thanks for tuning in ulysses from points blank travel thanks for tuning in and supporting the channel appreciate it so much um i'm doing better tonight than i was three nights ago that's for sure jr josh i have a net 30 with quill uline and granger and nav i have Good score with Experian, but nothing with Duns and or Equifax. Both show them zero. Okay, so your NAV reports to um, Dun & Bradstreet. If you have the NAV Business Boost, you have to have the NAV Business Boost. If you don't have that, let me know. Um, I can give you a discount link that will give you a little discount on the NAV Business Boost sign up because uh, we're a partner with them now they take depending on when you signed up they take 30 to 45 days to start reporting but they report to all the business bureaus if you have the nav business boost uh granger reports to experian business and dun and bradstreet um Granger has kind of a qualification where i forget because they kept changing it but i think you have to spend a a thousand dollars not at one time but over a certain period of time say 90 days or six months um that's something they can change internally you know day and night um, uline does report to also experian and dun and brad street um quill i think only reports now to uh dun and brad street because they're not showing up on uh, any of my Experian um, business profiles. I have the paid expensive version of that. <clears throat> but depending on when you got these, it, it takes time um, to report. But if you already have, say, Experian score, um, Experian business score, and you have two or three trade lines, there's like reporting on there. There's probably like five or six higher limit trade lines you can get like the gas cards um those will be pretty much guaranteed approval almost um and some revolving gas cards and jc pennies because they are pulling through experience business so a lot of you know trade lines that you guys want or a lot of the credit that you guys want they don't pull from Dun & Bradstreet. Like Citibank, they don't pull from Dun & Bradstreet. 
you know, um, they'll look at Dun & Bradstreet to confirm things, but they look at Experian to give you a decision. So um, all these financial institutions and a lot of the trade lines, they're looking actually at Experian. So Experian business. So that's the one that, in my opinion, is the most important, Dun & Bradstreet being second. But it depends on what type of business you're in. If you want to do a lot of equipment leasing or industrial type stuff, Dun & Bradstreet matters. Some car, um, some car, um, no PG banks, they will look at Dun & Bradstreet, but they actually look at Experian and they look at uh, Equifax more often than not. Um, Equifax, there's several of those vendors out there that actually report to Equifax, but they're those starter vendors that you kind of have to pay to play, meaning they're going to, you have to pay like the $79 or $99 to get the net 30 account. It's an annual fee. And then you have to order 40 or $50. Those are the ones that actually report to Equifax. But I, I've covered a lot of this in other videos and stuff, so you can check those out as well. Um, let's see here. Uh, Moody Dare 23 applied for a business bank account with MBKC using my virtual address for real estate investments, and they won't accept that. They want a physical address. So, yeah, Moody, you can try Radius Bank. That's... Uh, I would definitely try Radius because they're pretty lenient and that's actually who I bank with for, I would say I have like over 15 bank accounts, business and personal, but I would say like 40% of my business income and uh, personal all runs through Radius. Um, they're a very large bank and they uh, just merged with a lending club and pretty easy to get approved for. So I would try to go through them. They actually even give you like a uh, 1.5% cash back. Even it's not a credit card, but you know, your own business debit card or your personal debit card for your checking accounts. So I would uh, definitely, you know, check that one out. And then I'm going to be doing a video that's sponsored by Hatch next week. They reached out to me and they're um, having me do a paid sponsorship video um, next week. So, but Hatch has a business bank account that's uh, pretty easy to get approved for. So, um, but that's what I would say is try first radius. Um, some of them can be more strict when it comes to virtual addresses than others, but I have several virtual addresses and have had no problems with some banks and then some banks I've had problems with, you know, that they won't accept it. So, um, and especially you're in a real estate investment is that's high risk as it is. So, um, but I would try Radius, and if Radius doesn't accept you, shoot me an email, support at joshvanhorn.com. Again, that's support at joshvanhorn.com. There's like two or three others that one of those will definitely give you a bank account, and they're not tiny banks either. They're larger banks. You know, um, so yeah. Malachi, good evening. Thanks for tuning in. As always, loyal subscriber, kind of one of the one of the ones from the beginning. Thanks for tuning in. Courtney, if I only if I only change the name of my LLC, do I need a new EIN number? So. If you change the name of your LLC, you're pretty much a new, it's like a brand new company, basically. So you're going to have to file a new LLC and then get new EIN. You can register a DBA with your Secretary of State, keep your current name, and then you can file a DBA that's attached to that current LLC. Um but if you're trying to build business credit up, that's going to 
get into sticky territory to get maybe some you won't get auto approved for certain uh business cards um you know say synchrony bank or whatever but it depends how you structure it but you can file for a new dba it's like 20 to 40 bucks depending on your state to add it onto the llc uh but and then if you just have it as a, you know, like I said, a DBA, but it's your choice if you want to actually get a EI, new EIN number and then have it set so that LLC is the actual controlling owner of that DBA. It gets starts to get confusing, but I've done what you're talking about before, like 10, 12 years ago. My advice would just be start a new one, but definitely consult with an attorney because I'm not an attorney. I can't give you legal or tax advice, but um, call your secretary of state as well. Tell them what you want to do, and they'll be able to help you out as well, give you advice. But there's plenty of attorneys that will do free phone consultations as well. You know, and you don't have to hire them. You can just, you know, like I said, uh, ask for few questions exactly what you want and you can get legal good advice you know la um yeah like la said if you have one of those really cheap virtual addresses that's could be that could be one of the reasons why like i post or something like a ten dollar one that you pay a month that's probably why you could be getting triggered by the um by the banks not getting approved <clears throat> just depends even some of the regis ones won't you won't get approved and stuff so you have to go through and get the strategic way like there's an opus and then there's anytime mailbox but you have to find the perfect location that actually is like an office suite building and not one of those mail center type virtual addresses that have like a mailbox number that's what gets you in trouble, especially if it's like there's a hundred companies listed at the same exact, you know, suite number. Uh, let's see here. I just lost track where you guys were at here. Too many comments. Moody Derek, I uh, appreciate it. No, no problem. No problem. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I jet blueprint. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to set it so it doesn't, uh, go off or whatever, but it's a regular 42 inch TV, but it's brand new, but I uh, haven't figured that out yet because it's running off a of USB that I have in there. But I'm going to be using that for like instructing, like almost like a whiteboard for you guys. So I'll use uh, my iPad and it'll, I'll, it'll be more instructional for you guys. And I'll have my other camera that I'm going to set up close to it. So you guys can actually follow along for some other business credit videos that I'm going to be making you know, uh, to make things easier to understand. Hey, JJ Monkey Douglas. Facebook user, I'm new. I haven't established any business credit yet. You have definitely came to the right place. Check out uh, all my past videos, you know, give you plenty of resources how to, you know, get going with all that, especially starting correct and building the correct business foundation up when you're building up your business credit. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Lincoln Image Printing Plus? Good evening. Uh, Facebook user, is getting the credit builder with DNB worth it? No, especially if you're a brand new business, it's not worth it. Don't waste your money. Don't let them talk you into it. Um, even their credit signal that's like, I think $40 a month, that's not worth it either. Unless you already have like say five to 10 uh, trade lines that you've already paid and 
you know, you want to see that after say 60 days or so, um, the credit builder, they have a monthly, um, Dun & Bradstreet has a monthly version and it's only worth it. Uh, I think it's 149 a month and you can self report up to five, uh, vendor trade lines that are not reporting to Dun & Bradstreet. So, don't do that until you already have like four or five trade lines that are not reporting and make sure you give them enough time to report if they do report because you don't want to waste one of those five credits that they give you for the $149 a month on a company that's going to report. You just need to give them time, but use those credits for ones that don't report flat out that say they don't report, you know, um, and then Dun & Bradstreet will reach out to those companies and get your information and confirm it and then post it under your Dun & Bradstreet profile. But don't do it. It's a waste of money. Do it after you've already, you know, are established a bit and uh, have several trade lines that are not reporting. Facebook user, happy Father's Day. Thank you. Thank you, LA, and thank you to everybody else, and happy Father's Day to all you fathers as well, and happy belated Mother's Day to all you mothers. Tyrone, B, uh, I could definitely use that list. What list are you talking about? Let me know. I, I go through these chats and ramble on and i don't see him basically in real time so let me know which one what you're talking about exactly hipra hi josh i applied for the grant if you guys applied for the grant put your first name in the chat and put your company name that's the only way i'm gonna know um Asless 2884, happy Father's Day. Thank you for tuning in, Asless. As always, another loyal, longtime subscriber. Okay, Ed Ray, are you, um, you said that for the GBC grant. Okay. Rennie, I haven't seen you before. Uh, if you're a new subscriber, appreciate you tuning in. And if you guys are, if there's any new subscribers here uh, or new viewers, please hit that subscribe button and turn the bell notification on. I'd really appreciate it. Um, double check. It only takes a half a second to make sure that you have the subscribe button hit and the bell notification on. Um, and smash that thumbs up if you guys would too. Uh, Rennie, um, do you want me to look up your credit safe profile or did you already apply for the GBC grant? Let me know. Uh, Facebook user, do I need to establish trade lines first? Well, yeah, you depends. You need to have your LLC or your S corp or C corp and your EIN. If once you have all that set up in your virtual address or your business address, once all that's set up, then that's when you start establishing your trade lines. Don't establish trade lines before you don't have your business foundation, everything set up first, you know, um, because the once you file with your secretary of state, your LLC or INC or your S Corp, or your nonprofit, that's going to be that data is going to be behold by LexisNexis, their data aggregator. They're going to take that data and basically give it to Dun & Bradstreet, Equifax, Experian Business. Um, and sometimes uh, they're a little slow on that. Experian business is pretty quick about getting that data. But um, once somebody starts reporting as well, after you already set up as far as your secretary of state and EIN number, once that's all set up, then you can go after get those trade lines and they'll start reporting. Yulissa, thanks so much for the happy Father's Day. Uh, let's see here. Tally Coleman, first time I think I've seen you too. Thank you. If this is your first time, appreciate you guys tuning in. Let me pull that up real quick on credit safe.
Bear with me, guys. I'm trying to... See where what that was. I have to go through like all these chats. Let me see here. Just want to make sure that I'm not missing any any of you guys' messages. Bear with me here. Well, for some reason, yours isn't showing up, but anyways, I'll look it up here. Elite, is it, host, is it hospital? Services, LLC. Uh, okay, Telly Coleman, there's it's here, but it actually is, it's Telly Coleman Elite Hospital Services, so. It's not just an elite. So they have your business name as like your first and last name and your company name and no LLC on it. So you might want to look into that because if, if, um, <clears throat> if Credit Safe has that information and that's not correct, what you register with the Secretary of State, then you could have a major issue with other credit bureaus, other business credit bureaus. You have no score, and it's uh, recommending only cash transactions to anybody that pulls the pulls your business credit. Um, so it says the other legal name is TD Coleman Coleman LLC, but your company name is Telly Coleman Elite Hospitals or Hospital Services. So I don't know if that's correct or not. But if it should be Elite Hospital Services LLC, you definitely want to make sure that gets corrected and make sure that's not what's on the Secretary of State's information. Because they pull this information from the, either the Secretary of State or LexisNexis or a vendor. So if somebody's reporting it wrong, you definitely want to get that, uh, you know, check that out, figure it out, because that could give you issues for building business credit up. All right. Uh, Facebook user, I'm still trying to build. I have a Wex card, uh, Granger, Soma, Creative, and Nav. Okay. So Wex seems like they don't really report to Experian anymore and they're spotty when they do report. So if you have Nav Business Boost, if you have regular nav or the cheaper nav, that's not going to help you. If you have the nav business boost, it's I think thirty nine ninety nine a month. That should help you on the, especially on the Experian side, and the Granger. But Granger reports only after so many orders and transaction amount uh, accumulated. So. Um, you definitely want to find out your experience score and try to get some experience business trade lines, especially like any fleet core gas cards. Those are all quick reporters to uh, experience business. And they're seem they're a lot easier to get approved for than Wex, unless Wex gave you a deposit card. Facebook user, what happened to you? I don't know who that is because you don't have your uh, settings set up correctly with uh, with StreamYard. It gives you an option to allow your name to be on the live stream, but basically just got jumped uh, a couple nights ago and robbed and jumped by four guys that kind of gave me a beating, but I'm all right now. They just 
got away with some cash and my cell phone, but like I said, those are all replaceable. I'm all right. Thank you, Rennie. Appreciate it so much. Uh, let's see here. Learn, see, taste. Hi, Josh. I applied for the grant. My name is Kendra. My business name is Learn, Taste, Learn, See, Taste, LLC. Okay. Got that, too. Let me just see. Look that up real quick. All right, uh, let's see here, the other one. I'm going to give away the grants, start giving away the grants here in a moment. Let me just get through the rest of these uh, comments so everyone gets a fair chance at it. Um, if you don't win tonight one of the grants, then still you can still, uh, like I said, I'm going to keep giving away the grants as long as you guys keep supporting as far as coming to the live streams, watching my videos, all that. I'm here to give back. So like the earnings I earn off of like YouTube and you guys use my links to sign up for say different um, business products or whatever, you know, I put a lot of that money right back into channel with gear and equipment and giving back uh, by the grants to you guys. I just enjoy doing this. Uh, it's fun. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, you can't get a proof for Sam's Club MasterCard. That's underwritten through Synchrony. You're gonna need, you're gonna need at least like in between five to ten trade lines reporting on Experian, and you're gonna want to have more than just the trade lines, but you want to show multiple trade experience payments with those different vendors as well. So. Experian kind of does like a three month rounding average graph on the paid version of Experian business. You're going to want to get those trending data scores before you're going to be able to get approved for um, Synchrony Bank, Sam's Club, uh, no PG MasterCard. There's the ConocoPhillips 66 card. That's easy with no trade lines as long as you're established uh, even if it's only a couple months as long as you have the, everything in order on your experience business credit profile that's easier to get approved for that reports quickly and it's a revolving gas card um, and it's underwritten through a synchrony bank it's no pg as well but it's just easier for that one than say amazon that's uh, amazon net 55 that's also through synchrony bank so Amazon, Lowe's, and Sam's Club are all through Synchrony Bank. Those are the three harder ones to get approved for, but the JCPenney's commercial and Synchrony, uh, the ConocoPhillips 76 card, 66 card revolving, that one's easier to get. Uh, those two are the easy ones to get approved for. Get approved for those two, use them for a couple months, and then apply for, say, the Lowe's or the Sam's Club, and you'll have not only boosted your Experian business credit scores, but you also build up a little bit of interbanking relationship with your business and Synchrony Bank because that's the underwriter that's going to be giving you the decision on, say, Amazon Lowe's or the Sam's Club card. <clears throat> Jet Blueprint, I have been in business for five years. After watching your vi videos, I paid Nav Boost. June 6th and building business credit. Only have three net 30s undone. Uh, AD Paydex score, no Equifax yet. When will NAV report? So if you paid on June 6th, they're going to report. They usually report on the first or the second of every month. So you should see that on your Experian business profile um, on, I would say, July 2nd, July 1st, somewhere the first couple of days of the month. Um, Equifax tends to take a little bit of time to get that data or whatever, but it should also be in July. 
and that's the always like i said the best step to do is always get that nav business boost the very first thing you do if you don't have any business credit because it's easy and it gives you data you know to kind of guide you in the right direction and it reports to help generate that initial report so you're in the right direction just follow some of the other um videos but don't rush it too much you want to wait until you start to see a, a experience score so I'd suggest go back and watch my Experian Trade Line videos. I think I made two or three of them. Watch those. And then once you've already established some Experian credit score, even if it's a 20, because it goes from zero to 100. So if even if you have like 20 um, from one trade line or even say 40 or 50, then go through all those other Experian Trade Lines. Those are the ones you want to get approved for. Don't mess around with some of those I would say crappier net 30 accounts. Don't put too much effort also into Equifax right now. Equifax trade lines are easy to get, um, but not many people pull Equifax. So it depends on your goals, but the most important data that you want to get trending is Experian business because part of your score is based on a three month rolling average, a nine month and a 12 month of Trade, trade payments, experiences, and vendors with both uh, Experian Business and Dun & Bradstreet. And they're used basically by 90% of all lenders and institutions and trade lines are all using, like I said, Experian and, and uh, Dun & Bradstreet. Um, but there's some that use Equifax, but Equifax are probably, I would say, the easiest one to get trade lines but those trade lines are usually the starter vendors that you know overcharge you for a box of pencils and you have to pay a sign up fee so there's a place and you know for every type of business and every type of vendor there's a place for the starter vendors it's just not something i would suggest to do right away unless you have the extra money to do it then you can go after all those like in my other videos i laid out you know 10 or 15 that you can just knock them all out in the first 30 45 days and just sit back and wait 90 days later you're going to see all those trade lines reported to all the different business uh bureaus uh choice events and uh, consulting how are you business credit guru thank you so much i applied for the universal premium mastercard and received an email asking to unlock my personal credit um hmm so fleet core asked you for that huh usually because i've applied through so many you guys can see here So, I mean, this one is underwritten through Fleet Core. So, Universal Premium MasterCard, that's also um, underwritten through Fleet Core. What's that? So, you're talking about that one. So, usually I had mine frozen too, but. Um, you know, I have several different businesses, but the ones like all these cards that I have here, these are all, uh, you know, it's not even all of them, but those are all cards that I got for a business that is only um, exactly June 24th it was, uh, of last year. I formed it and did not do anything with it at all until uh, March 28th of this year. So what is that, three or four months and I got like that many, you know, business cards, 90% of them are no PG. You know, I think I got like 30,000 across the board with like eight different gas cards. Um, so like Speedway, there's a Speedway card that's underwritten through Fleet Core. Uh, the BP MasterCard and the BP Solutions is underwritten through Fleet Core. Uh, Fuel Man is underwritten through them. Com Data Cards are underwritten through them as well. I haven't seen people ask me about that before asking to unlock your personal credit. Um, 
I mean, if you're worried about them doing a PG or something, um, I mean, do, doing a hard pull, you could uh, unfreeze your Experian credit because that's who they would actually pull. Um, let them pull it and then actually just tell them you're not going to personal guarantee, but they can actually pull because they need to basically confirm your identity. So like on mine, for instance, Fleet Core under Experian, under soft pulls, not hard pulls, but soft pulls, you can actually see like seven or eight soft pulls. Um, that's federal law. They have to verify your identity. That doesn't mean that it's going to be a personal guarantee because um, I didn't pay personal guarantee any of those um, fleet core cards. The initial one I paid a $200 deposit and they gave me 300. That was like the BP card. I believe it was the BP one. So once you paid that one deposit, you're pretty much in their system. And then two or three weeks later, you can apply for some of their other cards and you'll get approved for like 1000 or $2,000. And then like the third branded card, say Speedway, then you'll get approved for $5,500. And then I think the last one I got was the BP MasterCard was $6,500. And then the Fuel Man MasterCard was $9,500 uh, credit limit. So, but I'd reach out and just talk to the sales rep, the sales executive and say, you really don't want your credit pulled because you're trying to get a mortgage or something. And you don't want a hard pull on that, you know, um, you know, and see what they will offer you. Sometimes they will just give you a lower limit to start off with. Or they will ask for a small deposit and then they'll match it three times. Facebook user. Um, yes, uh, you should be okay to get some Experian trade lines. Go after the ones that I already... Uh, the videos I put out already about Experian uh, trade lines. If you don't already have those, get those for sure because you should be able to get approved for even having an 80 or 71. Um, 71 Experian is fine. Mark, I recently opened a personal checking and a business checking account with Chase Bank. What advice would you give me? Chase is fine. I mean, they're you know one of the largest banks, so they're fine. Um, so um i mean you can use them they're going to pg as far as like business credit like if you want to get business credit cards or whatever through chase it's going to be based off your personal credit 100 percent um but chase does report to experian uh business um so you know that's see there's certain cards and i i need to make a video about this because i don't want to just put out part of the information. So that's why I have to make a standalone video about it for all the major big banks, like say US Bank, Bank of America, uh, PNC, Chase. Uh, you know, there's like 10 banks I want to cover that have business, that offer business credit cards. And of course, they all require a PG, but some of them report only to the personal side, some of them uh, report to the business side business credit bureaus some of them don't report at all uh, unless you default you know so you if you're going to pg a business credit card you really don't want it to be affecting your personal credit uh your dti at all you know if especially if you have a high balance you don't want your sco personal scores going down you know just because you have a high limit on a business credit card you know so you want to go after the ones that report to the business credit bureaus or even if they don't report to the business credit bureaus at all, it's fine. Still, um, at least you got a credit card, you know, but they're all going to be PG besides the Sam's Club uh, MasterCard. That's the only one that's no PG. But, you know, as far as uh, reporting, I'll get into that in, on another video because that's a... Uh, I can talk about that for like an hour long and I need to put out the correct data facts on which ones report to the cell on the personal side, your utilization and which ones report to the business side and which ones don't report at all. Uh, 
Uh, let me catch up on the comments here, you guys. Sorry. I tend to talk too much or get too detailed. If I miss your comments, sorry about that, you guys. Uh, Facebook user, how do you apply for the grant? GBCgrant.com stands for Get Business Credit, like my channel. GBCgrant.com. People keep on saying what happened to me. Um, I haven't seen you before. Eyes of Mav. Thanks for tuning in if this is your first time. But uh, make sure you guys all hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. If you're not already a subscriber, I'd really appreciate it. But if you didn't hear what I already said uh, earlier a couple times, a couple nights ago, I went out dinner and a couple drinks, you know, with the family and friends. And then they went home and I stayed a little later, walked home later on at night and got jumped. And, uh, robbed and you know it's it's all right though i'm all right could you please check my credit safe profile choice events and consultation yep hang on choice events i don't know if it's and just going to do choice events and see what comes up. Yeah, so it doesn't look like there's anything for choice events because they would have already pulled up. If it's choice and events LLC, then or INC, there's one in. Uh, Vancouver, Washington, and one in Burbank, California, but they're just choice events, INC and LLC, but it's not consultation or and consultation, so there's nothing listed right here. Um, Facebook user, I can see your comments, I just can't see your name. It's, it's, um, I, I can go back to my Facebook group and look at that, but I can't do it during the live stream. There's too many things going on here. I can see it after the live stream, but you basically just have to enable your settings on um, right there on that live stream. There's a link to enable the settings so I can see your name and who you are. I can call you by your right name or whatever. Um, I can see your comments. It's just your name comes across as Facebook user. Robert, hey, what's up, Robert Katz? Uh, loyal, longtime supporter of the Get Business Credit YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Uh, appreciate you tuning in. Means a lot. Uh, Robert's always there supporting the channel, so I really appreciate uh, you tuning in again, Robert. And like I said, Robert, if there's anything I can help you out with, you have my email. Shoot me an email. I'm more than happy to help you out. <clears throat> Michelle, my bell. Got another YouTube member, pay, uh, paid premium member. And also, that reminds me for all those that are premium members that hit the join um, monthly membership. Um, in the next couple of days, I'll do a members only like QA live stream. Um, but also when I make comments basically on the uh, members only tab, I want you guys' feedback, what information you guys want, how I can help you guys, because the join tab, it, you know, it's, that's just to kind of support the channel and support my efforts. Um, but I'll also help you out any way I can, of course. But Texas chicken and he, in here got on late no worries no worries
Thanks, LA. <laughs> Uh, let's see here, Mr. J. Uh, Consulting Pros LLC. Let's see here. Got to get through these comments. I'm almost done with them, so then we can give go on to the grants. But I'm surprised there's not more people commenting saying that the, you have to put your first name and uh, your business name. If you've already applied for the gbcgrant.com and you're not, you haven't already been a winner before in the past, because I'm giving away uh, up to four grants tonight. Uh, let's see here, Mr. J. Here's your credit safe profile. It's loading. Risk score is 58. Recommended credit limit is 8,000. So you, it shows there is a financial payment data enhanced scores available on this report. Although I cannot click that link because that's a uh, shared uh, small business financial exchange and Equifax data. I can see it when I'm not on a live stream, but I have a contract with credit, uh, credit safe Equifax and small business financial exchange that I cannot publicly share this information, um, you know, just to the public like that. Um, but that's a good sign though. That means you have a lease or you have, um, something with a bank, either credit card, something like that, uh, reporting to them. So you have seven active trade lines. So you, if you have seven with, uh, showing with credit safe, then you probably have quite a bit on the other bureaus as well. You're current and you have $43 outstanding, but it's not late, of course. It's just that's what's showing that the uh, balance was. Uh, your recent high credit was 129 but like I said, it's nice that you have recommended a credit limit of $8,000. Um, let me see if it shows. So you've had 10 inquiries in the past uh, 12 months. Seems like every month you're for the last six months or so you've had applied for vendor credit or whatever, and they've pulled your pulled it. Uh, although I've pulled yours a couple of times, so some a couple of those inquiries might be for me pulling it as well. But let's see real quick what if your score if it's when it recently went up. So it's remained stable for the last four months and the local score for this company has decreased from 61 to 58, which is not a big deal. It's still, you know, those are still good uh, numbers to be 51 or higher. Sorry guys, my voice. Uh, watch out media for 1099 self-employed contractors. Ubers can only apply for directly MasterCard, Visa, business credit card, social security number instead of EIN, full name, business, or need LLC. So, I mean, you could use your social security, you know. Um, I mean, it depends. Your 1099, you know, self-employed contractor, Uber, so you're still just doing a Schedule C at the end of the year. You don't probably have a uh, EIN number, so you really can't build up business credit unless you have an EIN number and a um, LC or INC or S corp. So if you're a sole proprietor, pretty much the answer to what you're asking is um, you can't get a Visa or Mastercard even if you personal guaranteed it. You can't get that because the banks are not going to give you that. Even if you're using your social security number, they're not going to give that until they verify your actual business. So they're going to want to see a business. Um, Cause then anybody could just, you know, get a credit card, personal guarantee it and put, you know, Delta airlines as the name of their company or whatever on the credit card. But, they're really not part of Delta Airlines or whatever. So you need to file an LLC is 
probably your best bet because you can do that as a single member LLC, still file your um, tax returns at the end of the year, just like you do as a, say a self-employed or sole proprietor. And you, you still use your social security number for, you know, the IRS. And then you include your EIN number with your LLC on your schedule C and it's, you know, very easy. And then you can start building business credit up and establish yourself. But again, yeah, it's best to, you know, talk to an accountant or a, a business lawyer as well. But, um, but you definitely need to have a entity, a separate entity to be able to get business uh, credit. A uh, Facebook user who reports to experience uh, all of, pretty much all of Synchrony Bank um, trade lines do, all the Fleet Core ones do, Uline, Nav, um, Granger after so many orders. There's too many to names, so it's not like I can just give you a whole list. All my videos, you have to go to my videos and watch those videos because that's what they're there for. I put a lot of time and effort into those videos. I think I have probably spent uh, over 4,000 hours combined with the research and effort putting all those videos together. So I can only give you guys the information and, you know, kind of help you, guide you guys in the right direction. But I really can't, you know, hold your hand all the way, you know, from it you know, getting you those cards and stuff, but, um, definitely do the research because you don't want to wing business credit. You want to do it right the first time. So, you know, if you half ass it the first time, then you're going to find out later, you'll get certain denials or why you can't get approved for certain things. And the reason why will be because you missed a critical step on, um, the business credit bureaus, basic foundation of the reporting data like the industry codes or key personnel address the correct spelling dashes all that stuff needs to be double checked uh, so definitely uh go back and watch those videos it's especially the ones that i did in the last six weeks those are probably the best ones for building if you're just starting off you know the foundation of building your business credit up Big Mel 314. Thanks. I haven't seen you before either. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. If you'd hit that subscribe button, but yeah, appreciate it. Just found your channel a couple weeks ago. Appreciate the knowledge. And when, once I start pulling the trigger on some stuff, I'll use the links. Hey, I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Uh, appreciate that. These lights, all these lights in the studio make, make me sweat a bit. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much. And anybody that uses my links, I really appreciate that. I would say like 75% of the links that I put out there, they're not affiliate or partner links. They're just the direct links. But uh, like say Divi and Nav and a couple others are, you know, affiliate links. So partner links. So definitely use those. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. Actually, some of them will give you discounts using my links, like the Opus Virtual Office, uh, all-in-one solution with the you know having your live receptionist, uh, you know mail forwarding, your own office suite number, all that. Uh, if you use my link, then you get uh, hundred dollars off uh, your setup. So if you just go directly to Opus, then you're going to have to pay $199 because that's $99 a month for everything that's included. But if you use my link and then use the GBC100, it gives you $100 off. But I definitely appreciate that, you guys, the support. Uh, positive Vibes, uh, haven't seen you either. Love the icon, love the car there. How does the Duns number work? So I can't really answer that. I mean, it's basically like your business social security number for one of the credit bureaus, business credit bureaus. It's probably the second best, uh, uh, most used business credit bureau out there. But um, 
I don't know where you are in the stages of business credit. If you're brand new to it, um, I don't want to get into too many details because it'll take me 15, 20 minutes just to explain all that to you. But uh, feel free to shoot me an email um, with that same exact question and, and where you're at with building business credit or you just started your LLC. Just let me know that basic information. Don't make the, <clears throat> don't make the email too long because the emails, people that send me long emails, Usually I don't get around to responding to because they ask 12 different questions and you know, I get over a hundred emails a day. So keep it short and simple and you'll get a good response, quick response back. So just shoot me an email support at joshvanhorn.com. Again, support at joshvanhorn.com. I know I've got like over 40 or 50 people that email me about wanting to hire me for mentorship or consultation private one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, you can shoot me an email to join the waiting list, but um, I'm only taking like 10 clients per month. I have no spots available right now. Um, you know, so I can't take on too many at one time. Uh, but, you know, each month, I just started this like two or three or two or three weeks ago. I just started offering that service, but, you know, not everybody needs me for, you know, six months of coaching um you know some of you guys may only need me for one month so that's why uh spots open up you know so some people need me for two months or three months so you know the spots will fluctuate per month on how many open up but um and i'll be honest with you like you know a couple of the um mentor clients that I have right now, you know, they want to keep paying me every month, uh, you know, for a consultation, but, uh, or mentorship and coaching, but they hired me for the first month and they want to pay me again for the second month. And I'm like, no, you don't need to pay me. I could just take that money, but I'm not I tell them, nope, I don't need it. Um, because you're pretty much at the best you can get on business credit. Now you just need to keep taking my advice and utilizing all those approvals we got you. And then in three or four months from now, you'll be ready to go after getting a fleet of cars or trucks, you know. So if anybody's interested in one-on-one uh, -on -one mentorship coaching, just shoot me an email in the subject section. Just put uh, uh, consultation, membership, uh, mentorship, and that you want to join the waiting list. And if spot opens up, that's first come, first serve. <clears throat> I'll let you guys know. Um, but yeah, shoot me an email if you guys have any, you know, questions directly about, you know, basic information. I'll do my best to help you out. You know, like I said, for free, support at joshvanhorn.com. Uh, swag G after you get the gas cards, what's next? I'm building up my credit. Almost a 700 personal would good to just get credit cards. Yeah. So swag G it depends what type of business you're in. So it's hard for me just to answer that, you know, across the board for everybody. So like if you're in a trucking company, your number one cost or your logistics company, you know, they don't really need credit cards per se because, you know, they're spending 20, 30, 40, hundred thousand dollars a month just on gas alone. So they want gas cards. And even the, if they got business credit cards, those business credit cards are one going to be personal guaranteeing and two, um, you know, you can't give those out to all your drivers or whatever, and you don't get discounts, you know, with fleet, fuel cards, especially if you're in a transportation business and you're spending three, five, ten thousand dollars a month on fuel, you know, I much rather have gas cards than I would say a five or ten thousand uh, dollar business credit card. Uh, so it really depends what your goals are, what type of business you're in, um, and you know, what you need for your business, you know. So some people need, you know, industrial supplies, you know. So what you want to do with business credit is try to alleviate the personal guarantee part as much as possible.
But at some point, you are going to have to personal guarantee for, say, liquid cash cards. Um, not all, but some of them are, you know, there's a couple no PG fintech companies out there uh, that basically just look at your business revenue and give you a no PG uh, credit limit credit card. So those there's ones out there like Divi. It's pinned to the comment section. You can apply through that one. Um, they do a soft pull on your personal credit. You need to be at 660 or higher. Um, but more than anything, they just look at your business, um, basically your business banking activity. Make sure you're not just having $50 in your business bank account. Um, it's going to be a hit or miss with them, but it's not a hard pull, so you don't have to worry about that. There's a couple of new fintech companies out there that I'm going to be doing reviews on next week. Hopefully an interview with uh, one of the founders of one. So, you know, I keep saying it next week, but um, definitely I made a promise the month of June, I'll be dropping a lot of good nuggets that nobody else, you know, has out there. So like for instance, the, I was the first to do the credit strong business, uh, credit loan builder. I was the first to put that video out there. And then next thing you know, it, the, all the other channels out there, even if they're not really into business credit, but it, you know, all these other channels within 24 hours to 72 hours, basically just made the same video that I put out there, which is fine. But, um, you know, I'll be putting out uh, some new ones that nobody knows about, you know new fintech companies so just stay tuned for that but um like i said it, it just it's not one size fits all it just depends you want to minimize your risk as uh, you know personal guaranteeing anything um not to say you're gonna screw over any company or your company's gonna fail because you you don't want to that should not be your reason to not want to you know do a personal guarantee or you the reason why you want to get no PG is because, you know, you want free stuff. Believe it or not, there's people out there that do that. And that they're the ones that ruin it for, you know, all of us that are being honest, trying to, you know, get no PG um, credit, business credit. So, um, but you try to utilize it as much as possible, but there's going to be a stage depending on how far you take it that you're going to have to, either get a soft pull or do a personal guarantee or do a pro, uh, partial liability or a company liability, which is they would, some of these uh, FinTech companies, they would do a UCC filing with the secretary of state. It doesn't hurt your business credit, but um, you know, there's so much out there. You get no PG depending on your business credit, you know, and how long you've been in business for, you know, you can get a fleet of 20, cars and put them on Toro. That's not hard to do. Even if you're a new business, you just have to be pretty aggressive for like six months and get so many trade lines and get the right trade lines and utilize them the correct way and the right amounts. So there's not a brilliant blanket answer I can give you because it depends on what type of business you're in. So hope that makes sense. Now I just lost the. Uh, Facebook user, I guess they are connected another way. I don't see their comments. Yeah, you're not seeing other people's comments because you're not on Facebook. You're watching me on. Uh, I mean, you're not on YouTube. You're watching me on Facebook. So. I'm actually streaming on YouTube and then I have uh, StreamYard sending the signal over to my Facebook group. So you're viewing only Facebook uh, people that comment. So there's like uh, over 50 people in here right now on YouTube and probably over 300 comments that you're not seeing because they're all on my YouTube channel. They're not on the Facebook part. Uh, so yeah, that's why. 
Uh, let's see here. Jet Blueprint. Thanks for all the gems, Josh. Five years in business, but have no Equifax business account. No boost paid June 6. Can you check my credit safe? Uh, I'm just going to assume that your business name is Jet Blueprint. Is that right? If you've been in business uh, five years and there's no Equifax, that's not. Um, uncommon but you definitely want to make sure you have Don Bradstreet and Experian but depending on what you're trying to do you know Equifax might be important but it does look like you have a credit safe profile your nav business business will report early like I said um, early July to all the bureaus so you yeah, I mean, you're. This is definitely you because it was uh, March twenty fifth, two thousand sixteen, when you formed the Jet Blueprint. So you have a risk score of sixty four, which is like you know, that's like a seven fifty eight hundred comparable FICO score for your business, um, and you have a high credit limit with uh, recommended credit limit of seventeen thousand. Um, when it comes to credit safe, you know. 17,000 is quite high uh, recommended credit limit because for the most people that I pulled, they usually have like a 1,000 to 5,000. So 17,000 is good. Um, you know, but I've seen it higher than that, but this is one of the highest ones I've seen from viewers on here. Um, and it shows you have two tra trade lines, total balance 600. Um, So you only have two trade lines, but you have that much recommended credit limit is because part of it's because of your age, how long you've been in business and you're well established all the data and stuff that they're pulling. So hope that's uh, clear for you. S.E. Jackson Enterprises. Uh, Sandy Jackson, can you uh, clarify that for me, please? Is it S.E. Jackson? Is it all one word or is it S.E.? Um, a mistype or something, let me know. There's no state with S.E. Um, so yeah, let me know what you mean. Telly Coleman, is it realistic to expect to have three to five semi trucks and only a year of finance through your business? If you want to, if you got enough trade lines, then yeah, but you want to also be able to show that you're building up you know, say you have one right now, you want to be able to show that you know what you're doing and you're building that up. I'm going to have some major um, transportation and trucking company owners on, on doing interview and stuff um, within the next couple of weeks. Like I said, I'm doing a lot of transportation videos coming up. Um, but I mean, you just need to show growth in your business. Even if you just have one truck right now, show some growth, some income coming in to justify that you need a second one or a third one or the fifth one. Um, they want to give that to you. And you, you have to understand semi trucks are an asset. So it's kind of a secured asset. So getting a vehicle is a lot easier or a truck. Those are a lot easier to get than say, a hundred thousand dollar line of credit or a hundred thousand dollar business loan or a hundred thousand um, dollar American Express credit card or business credit card because you know you could just use those and there's not much recourse for the bank or the financial institution to get their get that back but at least with say an asset like a uh, no PG auto loan or truck you know, those can be repoed. So there's less liability for the financial institution. So anything's possible, but you want to be able to show one that you're, you have income coming in 
what you're doing now, even if it's just one old truck that you have and you just started that out, you want to have record of everything and make sure you're shown that income every dollar helps make sure it's reporting like you have it in the business bank account you know and you're paying yourself for however you need to but just make sure that it's all going to the business bank account first you know and then going out from there um you know because that's what a lot of these uh, lenders are going to be looking for they want to see steady growth you know um but yeah, I mean, I, you can do that even probably in six months. It just depends how aggressive you go after it. Um, so your income, business income is going to be one factor. You want to see steady growth on that or streamline high growth or steady revenue to be able to afford those uh, payments for the leases or the trucks, um, either it be a loan or lease for those uh, the rigs or cars, you know, whatever it may be, but you also want to be able to show business credit too. So you can basically give them everything they want and then they can make a good decision and say, okay, you're approved. So that's why you want to get all faucets of every avenue set up correctly and get all those trade lines built up. Um, you know, especially if you like, say you're in transportation business, I would say skip some of those starter vendors, um, the ones that you have to pay like a setup fee or whatever. Don't even go after those. Um, it's not really necessary. Those have their place for certain businesses. And especially if you want to get super aggressive, those are fine. But for transportation, uh, you basically need to show a lot of uh, trade lines on Experian and Dun & Bradstreet. Um, and then Equifax, but um, your best bet would be, you know, um, going after trade lines that you can actually utilize right now and show payments like gas cards that report to Experian. So Fleet Core cards, uh, Universal Premium cards like that. I have several ones that I can tell you that report and give you net 14, net 30 terms, even revolving. Um, and they report to Experian business. So those would be perfect for you if you're in the transportation business. Just stay tuned next week or so. I'm going to have all the information about uh, uh, business credit for anybody in the logistics transportation uh, business or box truck business, freight company, carrier. Okay, uh, let me see here. Joyce, uh, events. Uh, what's your first name for the grant? I gotta look that up. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that blue uh, print. Am I saying it right? Tainan, Tainan. I'm so bad at pronunciation, so sorry about that. Um, okay, I got you down on the list uh, that applied for the grant. Um, I'm going to be picking one of you guys soon because I want to get these out of the way. Uh, HIPRA, uh, HG, HGM services. What do you tell me you want me to look up on credit safe or did you apply for the grant? Let me know. Okay. S. E. Jackson. Oh, so it's all one word. Okay, got it. Uh, S. E. Jackson. Raises. See, all right.
Great. Sandra. Journey Farm says, Josh, when I purchase the Experian Business Report, we'll be able to combine all the trade lines in one profile that are reporting to the two different addresses that are showing up. You don't really need to purchase the business report to do that. I mean, you kind of need to purchase the initial report. I think there's one for like $39. So you could not buy that $199 for the year. You could actually just buy the single reports just to be able to have a copy of each of those. And then you submit the dispute to Experian and then explain to them in the dispute that they need to be merged together because that it's the address issue, but the company is the same. And then you just show them your IRS uh, letter or your secretary of state um, certification of your LLC or INC. Um, just keep in mind, Experian can be slow sometimes, especially for that, but um, you should be able to get this merged. It just takes them time. It can happen after you submit it, they could do it in one week or it could be two months. I mean, it's hit or miss with them on how much, what you tell them to submit, but it doesn't cost anything to do that. If you already know the data, um, you can actually do it for free and not even get the report. Um, it just helps if you got the report of both of them, at least a single report. So you could tell them, Hey, these are my trade lines reporting on a different address, but it's the same business. So you guys need to merge it. So it's a, a BIN number. So on your report, you're going to have a BIN number. Um, so like the BIN numbers are usually a, let's see here, nine digit number. So that's basically looks like your social security number with Experian business. So if you have two different ones with trade lines and they're both showing trade lines and you didn't buy it yet, but you did that in the name search like you do here, then you're going to be able to see that uh, there'll be a bin number for each one of them. So that's basically the experience record number for that business. And sometimes they, since it's two different addresses um, or a wrong address, they will be reporting to two separate profiles basically and they need to be together because say you line got the address wrong <clears throat> or use the shipping address or the billing address and it's different than what the actual business address is they will report that to Experian and then Experian will just make a completely new profile and then you lose that trade line because it's not counting to the right profile it, it happens but it doesn't happen all the time but it can happen I've se seen it happen probably 20 times this year so far with people on here. So, um, but yes, in short, you, you can do it. It's not a problem. You, you just, and it's free actually. It's, uh, I think it's uh, businesscreditfacts.com. They, that's experience site. You can go there and um, submit all the information, tell them to merge it together. Or you just gonna have to show proof that you're the owner of the business and give them a reason why the, the address is showing up as two different ones. Because <clears throat> they want to correct the data as well. That's how they make money is selling their, their business data to, you know, the banks. So they want to make sure that data is correct as well. Okay. I'm going to jump through these real quick. If I don't answer you guys uh, in detail for the next question, sorry about that because I just want to get through all these grant ones so I can pick the grant winners and then we can get back to the other things. Michelle about Opus I used. It works great. I was able to open my LLC and my EIN opened up a business checking account with Navy Federal and can physically go in the building and I want to use the office space. Yeah, that's what's great because there's a lot of the ones if you since you watched that video that I did about Opus, if you pick the right ones that are, you know, the nice ones, um, then you can definitely um, 
go in and use some of the office space, shared office space. Sometimes they'll charge you, but it won't be Opus charging you. It'll be like the company that Opus is partnering with. So, um, I don't know why Josh Lester, I don't know why your mustache smells like trout. Maybe you ate trout. I don't know. Uh, don't have time for the games though. Also, show my show bell. Also, if you go and use Josh's links, you get a hundred dollars off the setup fee. I think maybe Josh can answer this. They're supposed to be reporting the business credit bureaus, but I haven't checked that yet. They report right now to uh, to Credit Safe, but it takes sixty days for them to report from the time that you got set up. It takes about sixty days because they do it actually on a sixty days to ninety day quarterly reporting. Um, but last I checked, it was sixty days. But a lot of people are moving to like Credit Safe will update their files say on a quarterly basis, but. Yeah, if you use the link, you get $100 off the setup fee. If you just go directly to the site, you will have to pay the $199. But going through my link, you'll get $100 off. Um, but, yeah, uh, let's see here. Positive vibes. Thank you so much for that super chat. Really appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much. Every little bit helps. That's uh, going right back to the Get Business Credit Grant Fund. So thank you so much for that super chat. Really appreciate it. Love what you're doing. Thanks for helping us new business owners. I was wondering, how do banks decide the amount you qualify for a business loan? Well... If you're a newer business, then they're just going to be looking basically at your um, last bank statement. Say the last thirty is the last thirty days is the most important, and your average uh, monthly maintaining balance, average daily balance, average weekly balance in your business checking checking account, um, and then they'll look at an average three month roll. Um, and then they're also going to look at the personal credit of the business owners, whether that be you or you have partners, but they're going to take into that and, uh, account. It just depends how much you're trying to get to. So if you're a newer business and you're trying to get like $300,000, you're going to have to justify to any bank, especially like bigger banks like Chase are going to be harder and they're going to, their underwriting product, uh, process is going to be like, they're going to want so much information and you know, they don't want to take a high risk, you know, client on. So that's why there's relationship banking is also very important too. Um, but if you're talking about like, you know, 50,000 or $75,000 business loan and your newer business, a couple months old or something, you're going to have to have decent personal credit and be able to show us like even you have a job or your business is generating decent money. Um, but it's basically just going to be a personal loan that uh, won't report. Some do just like credit cards, uh, business credit cards may or may not report, you know, um, on the personal or business side. Um, but it just really depends what you're, because there's a lot of fintech companies out there too. They'll look at, um, so if you're selling online, if you're an online seller, um, or you have PayPal money coming in, transactions all the time through PayPal or Square or Stripe um, or Merchant Account, then there's like ClearCo. And I did a video about that and we got like over 20 people funded. So we'll, you connect all your accounts with their system and then they have an algorithm that will basically utilize all that data that you're giving them, your accounting software, say QuickBooks, PayPal, Stripe, Square, eBay, Spotify, or Shopify, anything like that, or your merchant account, those are all connected and then they come back and give you an offer. And then that offer will be say 30, and it doesn't go by business credit at all. 
it basically just goes off of your earnings of your business. So it really depends what type of business you're in. There's so many different fintech companies out there that are really competing with the traditional banks like Chase and U.S. Bank. And those traditional banks are going to have to start um, getting with the year of 2021 and stop looking at just the credit scores, you know. So, um, but there's not really a blanket answer I can give you. Feel free to shoot me an email support at joshvanhorn.com and just kind of keep it short and simple. Let me know, like, you know, how long you've been in business, how much you're earning or whatever, and what you're trying to, the amount you're trying to get. And I can try to give you best advice I can on that. Because like I said, it's, I can't really answer that on a blanket question like that. There's so many different options out there for different types of businesses. But thank you again for that super chat. A to Z Energy Services LLC. I haven't seen you before either. Um, what do you want me to do? I don't know what you're asking me to do. Um, if this is your first time tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. But I don't know what you're asking me to do. You want me to pull your business credit safe profile? Or did you apply for the GBC grant? Um, so I don't know what you're asking me. Let me know. Um, Irvin, Irvin's, uh, that's crazy. Glad you're doing better. Yep. I'm definitely much better. A to Z energy services, LLC need to build business credit for funding and love your channel. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Love hearing those positive, good comments so much. Really appreciate it. Um, need to build business credit. So you definitely came to the right place because, you know, I will toot my own horn. There is no other business credit. Facebook group, channel, website, YouTube channel. There's nobody out there doing what I do. There's ones that, you know, are, are not really transparent, you know, that teach business credit but they're trying to upsell you for $2,500 or $5,000 course that they just market, but they don't know the details of business credit. They're just giving you what's already out there that everybody talks about, basically the surface information of business credit. But there's, you know, the roots of business credit and underwriters, you know, I give you guys all that information, you know. Um, I talk to CEOs of financial institutions all the time as well, you know, um, and get their underwriting cr criteria. Uh, so, like, I was just on the phone today with one of the directors over at uh, Roe. So Roe's a new fintech company, and probably next week I'll be doing an interview or a video about the Roe um, business uh, credit card. It's not for a new startup though, um, but I'm not gonna get into too many details. You can be new, but you have to be earning a decent amount of money. But, um, you know, there's different FinTech companies for different companies. So not every financial institution or business credit line or resource that I give you guys, you know, it's not for everybody, you know, so you know, I may give a hundred different trade lines out over the, over the last six months, but you may only be able to utilize say eight of those trade lines, but then somebody else may be able to utilize 40 of the trade lines. So I'm trying to cover all types of businesses that could utilize, you know, these different credit lines and trade lines. Um, but yeah, I mean, they just don't, you know, Kind of what irritates me too is a lot of these channels literally just like that either just started and I'm fairly new on YouTube, but I've been doing business credit for over 12 years and personal credit as well. But a lot of these channels are literally taking a video that I make about a product and then like the very next day they're just literally just talking, repeating the same exact video that I just put the content out saying the same exact data points and you know they're copying off me because they're using basically my same exact words 
And if you guys listen to me, you know, there's certain words that I ramble on and say, you know, you know, when people are saying that about the same exact product or video, you know, they're just copying and they're just trying to earn YouTube earnings, get video views. Um, so just be careful on who you guys listen to and stuff. I'm not saying I know everything out there. There is the no, but I know 99% of uh, everything about business credit. Um, but I spend eight hours a day researching everything that's changing and stuff as well. You know, I talk directly to Experian business as well and credit safe. So not tooting my own horn, just telling you guys the truth. I'm not, I don't make videos just to make money on YouTube. A lot of other people, that's their drive. They have these YouTube channels and they're just putting out content and they've never even done business with it. You know, say Credit Strong or Divi, they don't even have these accounts at all. They're just putting out content after watching somebody else make a video. They're just putting a video out just so they can get views and capitalize on it. So, you got to weed out those type of people. Uh, a to Z energy services. So if I get net 30 accounts, I need to use them to get a better credit score. So yeah, if you get any vendor trade line, it doesn't matter if it's a net 30, net 14, net seven, whatever it is, if you don't use it, it's not going to report. There's a very few out there that will report just if you got approved, but it's not going to really help you. You need to show those trade payments and experiences. So, but some of the ones that are overpriced, like the net 30, certain net 30 accounts, no, only use them just like one time. Um, you know, like Experian refreshes data every nine months. So while the age data will still be in the Experian business credit profile that's from two years old, you know, if you had a trade line payment from two years ago, it's still going to be playing a factor, but it's going to be like a 0.1% factor. Um, it's not going to be weighted too much. It's just going to show more establishment. Um, but really what counts with business credit is the last nine months for Experian and um, the last 12 months with Dun & Bradstreet. And how many payments, trade payments you've done, what type of trade payments they are, say the their financial ones, you know, like a gas card that reports a revolving business gas card versus a supplier type, which is like Uline. So they want to see mixed credit installment loan, all those le equipment leasing, all those kind of create the perfect business credit profile and utilization as well. And it's okay to have a high balance on something and your experience score will initially drop even though you just got approved to say, uh, you know, a $10,000 Dell account and you used 5,000 and you had an experience score of say 85. And then as soon as it got reported, you're down to a experience score of 20. That's normal. That's just because the ratio of accounts you have, say you only have seven trade lines on Experian and you're using that one. So if you have like say 20, you're not going to take as big of a hit on that, but the utilization that you owe that 5,000 and experience not used to you owing 5,000. So therefore your score is going to go down, but as soon as you get it paid back or paid down and the next time that vendor reports, your store is going to push back up and be stronger. So for anybody that's new on building business credit experience really kind of, can fluctuate their scores can fluctuate kind of like um your personal credit fico scores they can literally change but daily even i've seen happen but more so it's it, it's almost like experience business it tries to learn your behavior so that's why it's better to get a lot of experience trade lines and start using them so then when you do have a high uh, say amount that you owe on one trade line, those other say nine or 10 trade lines are going to offset that from making the scores go down, but don't get hung up on the scores too much. I probably should make another video about Experian 
business credit report on how to read them. I already did that, but I never got into the deep, deep details on how the whole utilization works because a lot of people will just assume that, um, you know, you get these trade lines and you use them and your score should be high and stay high. And then all of a sudden they drop down to like 10 or 20 and then they freak out and you have to understand why that is. And it's not always a bad thing if your score drops with the experience business. Um, but you can kind of safeguard yourself to take a less of a hit when you have utilization on that. You know, so I'll explain that in another video down the line. I don't want to confuse you guys too much. Confuse you guys too much. Uh, choice events and cons uh, consulting. I also got denied for the Conoco Phillips 76 card. Synchrony does not like my company. Did you call them choice events? If you, you should probably, if you just apply, you should call them because I would tell you like at least 30 people have applied and either commented and said they got the seven to 10 day message or whatever. They got denied. Um, and then I gave them the phone number, you know, gave them the phone number and they called and it was just synchrony needing to verify a couple things. Um, and then they got approved. So, but I mean, some people do get denied, but uh, there's going to be reasons for you getting denied and they pull experience. So it's not that synchrony doesn't like you. It's just, there's something, um, Either they need to verify with you over the phone because they're not going to call you. They're nine out of 10 times. They're not going to call you. Um, you know, they're just going to send you that seven to 10 day letter denial letter saying something like they can't verify your business. But if you would have called them, maybe you could have verified whatever information they need to confirm who you are to make sure that it's not a fraudulent application or something. And then they'll give you, you know, they'll approve you or they could still deny you. And that could be because there's something not right on your basic data on Experian. You know, I got approved with a new LLC and had, this was my very, very first trade line I, I applied for. I didn't have Uline. I didn't have nothing on Experian at all, but I had my Experian business profile, everything, correct reporting like the key personnel on the president of the company the right sick codes and ISC codes um, you know the address and everything was correct with the secretary of state the website you know phone number everything listed correctly so that passed their automated system and i got an instant approval and it's no pg as well um, I didn't PG on that one at all. You know, I didn't get a lot, but for the very first one that I did, uh, it was $1,500. So, um, and it reported it's revolving and it reports right away. So, um, it's probably one of the best overall gas cards out there. I don't think it's probably good for truckers, but it's good for, you know, maybe a box someone has a logistics or box truck company but not good for like a semi truck company or anything like that because there's not that many locations and you know to be able to service them and stuff but um but yeah um i would try giving them a call if you guys need the number it is 1-855-659-9789 again that is 855-659-9789 call them Tell them you got the seven to 10 day message and you wanted to see if they needed to verify any information. Um, and if, if they just give you a generic response, hang up, call back. I had somebody do that a couple of days ago. After them calling back three times, they got approved. Um, they just got transferred to the right person. So um let's see here i'm gonna give away the grant so i just got to get through these last um what 
WAP TV, how much is your business credit builder? What do you mean by that, my business credit builder? I don't have a business credit builder. I mentor, uh, do monthly mentorship um, to a limited number of people, but I don't have a business credit builder. I just give you advice one-on-one -on -one and then help you get approved for, um, you know, uh, business credit lines. Um, let's see here. Choice events. Yes, Universal wants to unlock credit. However, I just got approved for fifty five hundred for Fuel Man Mastercard. Makes no sense. They are both Fleet Core. Okay, Choice Events consult uh, consulting. When did you do that? It depends when you did that. So if you if you got approved for the fifty five hundred for Fuel Man Mastercard. Um, say a week ago and then say two days ago you did the universal that's because the fuel man it's still underwritten through the same company but you need to give them a good two to four weeks for them to get that account in the system and you need to utilize it like once or twice and pay them and then go after the other ones so you don't want to you can get them all back to back like i did i spaced them out about seven to 14 days between the time that I got each card, um, the Speedway, Fuel Man, BP, um, what was that, the Universal, I got one other one, I forget which one it is, um, Casey's, I think, um, but you need to space on it from the time that you got them, um, and make sure that you're putting the same exact information that you're putting on in each one, uh, each application, but the same application. It's just a different brand. But with Fleet Core Total, I think I got now like 24 or 28,000 between like five or six branded cards. And I didn't even ask for like the 9,500 was the fuel, man. I didn't even ask for that much. I think I put down the monthly spin is like 2500 they gave me you know 9500 so just just wait but wait 30 days before you reapply through any of them if you got that pg asking they also could have a thing where they're capping your business with internally um with fleet core at uh, $5,500 across the board, but that's probably unlikely um, considering it's only 5,500, but I could see that if I applied again through say one of, they have like one more card, which is like calm data. If I applied through that, I could see them declining me or wanting a personal guarantee for that because they already gave me no PG, almost 30,000 there already. So I hate getting into rambling. <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys that are being patiently watching, listening. DR, hi, watching from India, N, Indiana or India. Wherever you're watching from, Thanks for tuning in. I, mean, I don't think I've seen you before. Maybe I have. I just haven't seen the icon. Was that Emirate Airlines uh, airplane there? Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it so much. We still got almost five. Uh, it's almost midnight uh, here in Eastern Standard Time, and we still got like 50 people. Wow. Uh, plenty of water, 77, $5 super chat. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so much uh, for that super chat. You got the BP 16,000 for business. Great. Did you, was that the BP MasterCard? Hopefully it's the MasterCard and not the solutions one. Um, although depends the perks that you want. Uh, the, this BP card, I think gives you a, little, a couple cents discount compared to the BP uh, Business MasterCard, um, if I'm not mistaken. But at any rate, though, that's great that you got uh, 16000 That's great. You must be, what, in the trucking business or 
using getting approved for 16,000 on one app. You must have put down that you're using a lot, but great. Uh, definitely take care of them. They'll take care of you. They're not the greatest on customer service. I will say that about Fleet Corps, but they're one of the best about reporting, especially to Experian. They report very quick, and they, um, um, they're they very reasonable about deposits and stuff like if you if they can't approve you they will give you an option to do like a minimum of two or five hundred dollar deposit and then match it three times unlike wax but bank cards all of those it's like a minimum of five hundred dollar deposit and it's five hundred dollars and it doesn't even report that often and it doesn't report uh, to experience from what i've seen it's hit or miss actually but, and again, thanks you so much for that super chat. Swag G, please let me know. You guys, if you guys are making a comment about, like, I don't, because I said it about the giving away the business credit grants and looking at the um, credit safe profile. So, if you can please elaborate a little bit, put in the information on what you're referring to. Sean, Mon uh, Sean Mindset, I don't think I've seen you before. If this is your first time, thank you so much. Appreciate you tuning in. Again, you guys, uh, please hit that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And double check, please, that you're, you have that uh, subscribe button and the bell icon turned on for all notifications so you get all notifications from whenever i put out new videos and go live um what is the requirement for the grant there is really no requirement you just have to be a new business basically and it's my personal money that i'm giving away earnings that i earn off this channel and the super chats and the ad revenue affiliate revenue i give that back to you guys um i enjoy doing this i own you know other businesses that i earn you know money from that i've had in, been in business for 12 13 years that you know i have people running for me so this is kind of a hobby for me i enjoy it and, and like giving out the correct information don't want uh, people getting bad information from bad people online giving bad advice that are could be costly costly mistakes for you guys um but there's no requirement really you just have to be a business must be in business so that's basically you could have registered your lc or c corp s corp you could have registered it yesterday you would still qualify um so there really is no requirement you just have to be a new business i giving away these grants because you know there's the sba grants that they were giving away to established businesses that were already in business before the pandemic so any of you guys started your business after covid started you really wouldn't qualify for this uh, sba grants that they were giving away so and i don't give away that much i mean i you know i try to give away like two to five hundred dollars per grant that i give away per person so i don't want you guys to think i'm giving away like a thousand or two thousand three thousand dollars to one person i rather give like a couple hundred dollars to say three or four people a week than give eight hundred dollars or a thousand dollars to just one person because you know every little bit can help you know Uh, let's see here. Let me get through these real quick here. I keep saying that. Um, okay, HEPRA applied for the grant. All right, let me mark that down real quick, and then I'm going to pick, um, go through these real quick. Hep, Okay. Is 
Is the credit safe, safe a service you have to pay for? So, uh, Sharip85. Uh, so, my credit safe I use for, it's a, a vendor account, basically. I can actually report people's payments if they do business with me. Uh, it's for my media company. We do uh, Fox, ABC, NBC, online news distribution um, for companies. So um, one of my companies is Press Web Media, INC, and Business Release Wire Incorporated. Um, so we release press releases. So a company will hire us, uh, give us basically their press release about whatever they're whatever they want to get out about their company or maybe a new service they're providing. They give us the um, 500 words information about whatever the news is. And then we distribute it out to about 500 different uh, national sites like Fox, ABC, NBC News, um, it's different market watch sites, depending if you're financial in the financial business or real estate business. So we can distribute it out and it gets out pretty much instantly. So when you send it to us, I put it into my system. I have relationships built up with all these different um, networks like Fox, ABC, NBC, all these different um, online portal networks and they allow me to publish that on their website so it will get picked up usually about 450 to 500 different uh websites and they're like co-affiliates of fox abc so like it could be like the san diego fox san diego um there's los angeles fox affiliates new york all over um too many to name but they're all you know um affiliated franchise with Fox. And then there's some ABC sites, NBC, um, you know, so Associated Press. So to answer your question, I offer businesses net 30 terms for press release distribution because one press release, I charge anywhere from 500 to $5,000 to distribute it out, say either worldwide or uh, national. But the basic one, to get out nationally is like uh, about $500. So we'll give net 30 terms out, but it's a completely separate business than what I'm talking about with you guys right now. So that's why I use credit safe. I'm just using credit safe. We pay like $8,000 a year for this portal, but it gives me a lot of other information. Like I can search people's credit as well on here. Um, and compliance search and, I can monitor and clean the data and find other um, possible uh, customers that may be wanting to buy press releases or whatever. And Credit Safe will also do debt collection for me as well. Um, so there's a lot more than they do. I'm just using the Credit Safe from my other company. Uh, the dashboard to show you guys to give you guys a little something, but um, it's for my other separate company that has nothing to do with this business uh, or teaching or anything. Um, but for you as yourself, you I, they used to have my dot creditsafe.com and it was free. You could look your name up and register your own profile, but now they changed that, and that's what I've been trying to um, find out with them and get. Uh, a guy with credit safe on the channel to do a um, interview with him because I know a couple of you guys have paid them like $1,200 and they're not worth it. I wouldn't pay them a dime period. It's not worth it. Not in this, not right now. It's not maybe in a couple of years it'd be worth it, but um, you should not have to pay for it period. So I'm going to clarify that and figure out how you guys can get a profile so you don't have to pay. I was denied for Divi, applied three weeks ago. Should I wait 30 days to apply again? Uh, Sharipi, Sharip, am I saying it right? 85. Shoot me an email, uh, support at joshvanhorn.com. Again, support at joshvanhorn.com. 
give me your basic details and so I can figure find out why you're getting denied because um, there's a reason. So there's no point to reapply in 30 days if you didn't correct the reason that um, Divi won't tell you, but I send more people through Divi than anybody else, I think. Um, so I know pretty much what they're exactly looking for under their underwriting requirements. So if any of you guys need help getting approved for Divi, shoot me an email support at joshvanhorn.com subject section, put Divi. I know a couple of you guys may have emailed me last week or five days ago about that. I haven't responded yet. To some of your emails because the issues that just happened with me uh, getting mugged or whatever the other day. So I'm still recovering. This is pretty much my first day back working. So I'll get back to you for sure on that. But um, you need to find out what the underlying reason is why you're getting denied with Divi. Divi won't really tell you the reason why, and they don't have to by law. It's not like on personal credit. They will tell you, like, you know, the reasons for the adverse reaction uh, reason. But uh, on the business side, they don't have to tell you why you're being denied. It's not a required. Um, so if you shoot me an email, shoot me an email, and then I'll get a few information, data points from you, and then I can pretty much tell you right away why you're getting denied and what you need to do to correct that. Uh, let's see here. I got to get done with this, you guys. Uh, I mean, I got to get through all these... Uh, as soon as I start going through these, there's so many more coming through. So hang on. I'm going to go fast now because I don't want you guys up until 2 a.m. Um, okay. Watch out, media. Wonderful. Thank you so much for answering my question. Thank you for your time. Happy Father's Day. Uh, you got this. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate you tuning out. Watch out, media. Thank you so much. Guap TV is credit strong, credit builder, a powerful tool for businesses. Uh, yeah, I would say, I mean, they're not reporting to everybody right now, but I would definitely say it's worth it to do um, the credit builder loan. Uh, it is secured. You pay 100 and, what is it, 115 or 199 a month. It's a five year or 10 year uh, installment loan that's reported. It is worth it because you can cancel anytime and, um, get the pretty much all the money back. I mean, I think if you take it for the life of the loan of 10 years, you're going to pay like 13,000. So like it's costing you basically, I think a 20, $30 a month. I don't have the exact figures in front of me, but it's going to end up costing you in the, you know, the APR fees, even though it's your own money, but it's just a, you know, element to build business credit up. So, um, you know, and it also reports the Small Business Financial Exchange. It's actually underwritten through Austin Capital Bank. So they're a real bank, um, you know, just like Divi is Divi, but then the it's underwritten through Wex Bank. So uh, Credit Strong, I think, is it's the only of its kind. And I would definitely get it for anybody that is looking to say either get uh, no PGA auto loans or a fleet of vehicles or trucks, I would definitely get on that credit strong right away because that's going to tremendously help you more than, you know, a U-line and a Quill um, and Granger net 30 account. Uh, that's going to hold a lot more weight. Uh, let's see here. Malik, uh, thanks for tuning in. I, I don't think I've seen you before. Thanks for tuning in. If this is your first time, uh, your NAIS or CES code is 53110. I recently got the universal premium card. Do you know the next step? Um, Malik, let me know a little bit more. Um, what do you mean? What do you mean? What your next step is? You feel free to shoot me an email support at joshvanhorn.com. It seems like an open-ended question. I don't understand what you mean. What the next step is? 
um, you know, next step for what, like what exactly. Um, so I don't just want to assume something. So just shoot me an email, support at joshvanhorn.com. I'll be happy to help you for free. Uh, okay. I got to get through these comments though. Uh, Leak Reality LLC. Okay. So yeah, Malik, let me know. Um, don't know exactly what you're asking as far as the next step, but it's best if you shoot me an email because it's already getting uh, late here. I got to get through all these and get the grants given away because I know people are waiting for that. They're probably waiting to hear if they got picked or not. Watch out media can establish LLC with a wonderful business credit profile, purchase real estate in the future or only cars and trucks. So you can, so yeah, you can purchase real estate there. It's, it's not that hard at all. You just need to have skin in the game. So if you want to get, and you don't really even need much business credit at all for real estate to buy real estate, you need to have, be a LLC or INC, but they usually prefer you to be a LLC in real estate. Um, say you want to buy a um, distressed property or a rehab property, or even say a small apartment building that needs maybe just some fresh coat of paint, a little bit of work, but you got it under the actual um, appraised value, then there's hard money lenders out there. And some of them will give you even a 30 year term, um, a five year term, a 10 year term. And those will be easy to approve you and not too hard to get approved for at all. Um, they're going to want to see your personal credit score to be somewhere in the 600s, but personal credit credit score is not too much. Uh, their main concern, their main concern is if they're going to give you a hundred thousand, say buy the property for a hundred thousand. Um, or I should, I should put it this way. Say the property is worth a hundred thousand. They're going to want to see you have some skin in the game. So they're going to usually want you to have 10 to 25% you know, down just like a traditional bank would. But the problem with the traditional bank is, is they want to see, you know, you can't have multiple mortgages, especially if you're don't have a whole lot of personal credit build up. Um, and traditional banks, they're not that user friendly when it comes to their business friendly, unless you've been in the game for many years, like you're a very much established real estate investor. Um, so like pretty much 90% of every real estate investor that you hear about or see people that have all these rental properties or they're flipping houses or they got 20 or 30 apartments, they didn't get that money from a traditional bank. They got that from a hard money lender. Um, I know a lot of hard money lenders. I had one on the channel that interview with him. Um, so there's different terms. There's short terms, six months, 12 months, three years, five years, 10 years, 15 years, and 30 years. So they have a rental. There's a hard money lending uh, for a rental as well. Um, but basically to answer your question, it's not, you don't really need much business credit at all. Uh, you could have like one or two trade lines reporting to each of the business credit bureaus to show that you're, you know, a real business. But what's most important is you got some skin in the game. They'll give you the money. No problem. You know, because what they're doing is they're just going to put it at closing, you know, you're going to pay down your, your, down payment or whatever and then the house or the property is going to be in your business name you know with the state or the county um, auditors it's going to be in your name but the, there's going to be a lien holder on it and that's going to be the investor the hard money lender um, and the great thing about it is those don't get reported either when you're doing investment um, lending when you get money from those type of hard money lenders that doesn't get reported in your personal or business credit uh, report. So it's good. Um, because if you have that reported on the business credit, you know, that's not going to help your business credit too much because it's going to show you, Oh, a lot, you know, 
So it's still debt. Even though it's not behind, it's still debt. And then same thing with the 30-year 30 30 year fixed mortgage on the personal side. It helps your credit, you know, personal credit over the long term, but it, it's definitely not something that just boosts your credit. But um, investment, real estate, it's actually, you don't need any business credit to to be honest with you, it just, if you have some business credit, um, it's going to increase your chances for better terms and more lenders. But real estate investing is probably one of the easiest things as long as you, you know, get good properties. So, yeah. But watch out media. You can shoot me an email, uh, support at joshmanhorn.com. If you're interested in, I can put you in touch with, uh, couple hard money lenders that I know personally that are good guys. Requirements aren't too bad at all. Uh, Tyrone B. Hudson, uh, Hudson. Could you check mine once again? I may have shot. Uh, nothing's coming up for you. Uh, no, I put the period in there. Maybe it is M A. Yeah, there you go. I'm sorry, you guys. I kept on rambling every time I answer a question. I said I wouldn't do that and hurry and get through this so I can give the grants away. And then I keep rambling. Okay, so uh, Tyrone, you're at risk score 60 with credit safe and credit limit recommended credit limit 10,000. You have some financial uh, payment data that I can't show the public. Um, trucking company and you have two active trade lines 195 is the total amount that you had or whatever um, so in the last three months one for 48 so you may be able to know who that is because it shows a paid invoice was in the last three months one and the amount of 48 dollars Chances are that could be, I don't know, NAV Business Boost, or uh, they could be a few others that are reporting that too. Um, and then there's the last 12 months you had, uh, looks like 12, 773 total value. So it could be the same trade line. Um, yeah, that you just keep on paying reoccurring every month. Not sure which one that is. Definitely let us know so we can let other people know that as well. She mows and landscape. Natasha, how are you? How are you? Uh, I'm just getting back work and uh, I don't know if you were in the live stream earlier, but uh, like I just letting them know, everybody, letting everyone know. No one heard from me for uh, like four or five days because uh, like three nights ago I went out and had dinner and some drinks and went to walk home and got jumped and uh, jumped by four guys and phone token and my wallet, everything. Well, I didn't have my wallet, but it was a money clip wallet thing. Thank God I had all my IDs at home. But uh, that happened. Got some bruises, cuts, and stuff, but nothing major. I'm uh, I'm safe, and that's all that matters. Volkswagen plant. If I apply for a business credit card, will the inquiry show and steal my personal credit report? First time I've seen you to Volkswagen plant, uh, planet. Um, it depends which one you're applying for, but typically, yes, they will pull your uh, personal credit and it'll stay on your personal credit. Um, so there's a few out there that won't, such as the Sam's Club, no PG MasterCard. Um, so there's a few credit cards in some of the fintech companies as well. Uh, they won't pull your personal credit. If they do, it would be a soft pull. Um, 
So it just depends on what situation you're in. Um, if you're brand new, it's, um, I don't really know what your strategy is, what your goals with your business is. Feel free to shoot me an email, support at joshvanhorn.com. Uh, it's already almost three hours. So I just want to make sure I can glance and answer at least a, a knowledge. Most of you guys, and then give these, uh, three or four grants away to you guys. So sorry if I'm being short with some of you guys, just shoot me an email support at joshvanhorn.com and I'll try to give you a more detailed response. But, um, Normally, I could go into so much detail, but it's already the live stream got started so late and it's already late uh, for you guys. So I, I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Um, but you pretty much answered your question pretty much all 99% of the time. They will pull your personal credit and your personal credit does matter. However, there is some fintech uh, credit cards out there that you can get that won't pull your personal credit. Um, you know, and um fintech loans as well so just depends on what your business metrics are uh natasha she mows and landscapes i have a guest card for net 14 how early should i pay the balance at day five or six uh she mows and landscape uh natasha let me know just shoot me an email about that let me know we need to get a uh Get on the phone soon when the time works for both of us but um email me because i can definitely you already email me but email me what card that is because certain gas cards you don't want to pay too early either because it won't trigger reporting it'll delay reporting by one month if you pay it too early so let me know and email which one it is and what gas cards you got approved for because uh since you're in the landscaping business we need to get you uh several gas cards to rotate to build up your business credit uh let's see here we we'll check mine uh, yeah tyron uh i just checked it that's your at 60. Okay, you guys, I'm just going to kind of scroll through these real quick because I don't want to... Um, Let's see here. I just have to get through these comments. There's like 300 comments. I'm sorry. I can't go through them all, you know, tonight. I did not expect this many people would be tuning in this late either. I appreciate it, but now I know to probably do live streams. Since I went on late tonight because I had the internet issues with my router. Um, and I asked it kind of on the poll and most people said, go on at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I came on at 9.30. So going forward, I'll probably do like uh, 7.30 or 8 o'clock. So that way we can I can kind of answer all time zones. And I'll just kind of prepare at least three hours on the live streams each time. Um, so I can be able to answer all your questions, especially more and more subscribers. I know I'm growing at, a, you know, 50 to 150 new subscribers every day i know the more that i do these live streams the more questions and more subscribers there's gonna be a lot more questions so i understand that that's why i think i'm gonna have to start doing more live streams uh like two or three times a week uh Michelle, my bell. See, so you have any Navy Federal videos on getting a business credit card coming out soon? Yes, I do. That's one coming this month as well. Just stay tuned. But that's on my whiteboard right over there. Uh, I can pull a few more, and then I got to do these grants. It's. It's. I don't. I don't want to keep you guys up any later. All right, Lincoln. Uh, 
Lincoln, are you, did you are you wanting the grant or uh, credit safe? Um, Lincoln's been with us, I think, from the start of things. Uh, so very loyal uh, subscriber here contributor to he's the one that's actually responsible for the giving the uh good gem about this uh this one this was kind of a hidden gem not many people knew about it because the traditional conoco 76 66 phillips card is actually underwritten through wax um so this one is hard to find because wax i don't really care for too much and they handle like 80% of all cards, but this card is actually through Synchrony Bank. It's one of the only six Synchrony commercial accounts you can get. Like I said, Home Depot, or not Home Depot, but Lowe's and Amazon's, um, Sam's Club, JCPenney's. So this is the only revolving no PG gas card out there that I know of. Um, you know, you can carry a balance on it, so it's great uh, if you need to. Uh, but Image Printing Plus, let me know if you want, if you already submitted for the grant, uh, if you already put in the application. Uh, I'm going to be picking it within the next five minutes. Promise you guys, I'm gonna, within the next five minutes, three or four of you guys will be winners. So if you're still on the stream right now. All right, uh, watch out media. Which business phone provider do you use for your six businesses? I guess six different business phone lines as well as six different virtual edges as well. So, um, no, I have real estate in, in Ohio. So um, that's my main business is in some real estate. So um, I have two different units. So and I've been there for 12 years. So that's what I use for actually two separate businesses. And then I have virtual addresses on the other four that I use. Um, some of them are there here in Ohio, there in Ohio, and some are in New York, one in California. So um, phone provider, I use a couple of different phone providers. I made a video, you can go back and check out those. I'll go over the, I go over their features. So there's Mighty Calls, a good one. And then the other one is um, Nextivia. Nextivia I've been with for many years, but it's a higher end system um, and it can get expensive too. It's, uh, it's, you know, made for businesses with, you know, be able to do conferencing and they have so many features, but I made the video about that. Uh, so definitely check it out. Um, I think I made that about two months ago. Um, but mighty call is a good one. Those are the two that I found that actually can get the numbers listed in the business, uh, 411 directory. And that's important, especially with synchrony bank. Um, so, um, Let's see here. You said which phone provider do you use and stuff. So then, I mean, I have some too. Like I said, I have some numbers that are forwarding numbers. So I set them up initially as like regular numbers. And then they were say on a cell phone, a business cell phone line. And then I canceled that account because I just didn't need it anymore. Um, that cell phone service. So then I ported that number over to say next TV. So it's still registered. You know, I'm the owner of the number. It's no longer was of say Verizon and it's everything's, you know, registered with the national directory assistance as well. It's quite complex, but I also own two call centers. So one here in the Philippines, and then I own a call center in the U S as well. The one in the U S is small, but the call center, if you guys call the 937-877-2009 number, that's the number you guys can text me any questions you have. But if you, happen to call that number, I won't answer it. It'll be one of my call center agents. Um, but you can text me on it and it actually goes right on my phone. Uh, watch out media. Uh, 
it's like PR Newswire and Globe Newswire, very interesting distribution company. It's funny you said that. Now that you said that, I have to show you something. So hang on a second. Let me. Hang on a second. I don't want to take up you guys' time since uh, Watch Out Media knows this, which is uh, looks like you're in the media business as well. But so Globe Newswire was actually a partner of mine, but they are now uh, got bought out by West, and then Entrago Media uh, now owns them. They've changed hands so much, um, but. Originally, it was NASDAQ that owned Globe Newswire, and then NASDAQ sold it to Globe Newswire, and then it changed hands to West Media, and then West Media to Intrago. Um, but I was going to show you something here since you said that. Hang on a second, you guys. I definitely want to show you guys this because it's not to brag or anything, but uh, some of you guys' uh, credibility goes a long way, you know. I'm not sure if I've showed you guys this or not before, but... Um, One second here. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Now I can show you. So watch out media. So you can see here. You can see that uh, I was actually on the Times Square NASDAQ building. Uh, this is not Photoshopped or anything, but you can actually see. And it's on Crunchbase. Uh, all the databases and stuff that are aged and stuff, or Reuters and all that. But uh, I didn't own the company, Press Web Media. I was actually hired to come in in 2017 and got hired in to take over as their CEO. Um, but then Business Release... Uh, Business release wire. That's what I formed myself. Anyways, enough bragging about myself. Um, let's see here. Image printing plus Lincoln. Okay, I got that one down there. Um, Regis and Son. Regis and son, and you came on late. What's up? Thanks for tuning in. I have to watch the replay, maybe. Um, yeah, I know you applied for the grant. Uh, did Chad ever get your website going? Jet Blueprint. Uh, thanks for becoming a channel member as well. Uh, happy Father's Day to you if you're a father. If not, happy belated Mother's Day. Thanks for all the support. And yes, the past videos, not just the live streams, but past videos too. Some of them are maybe a little bit boring for some people, but boring is just like some stuff in school, but it'll go a long way. You know, I go over a lot of the good details that you don't want to skip out on. Uh, for any of those that want me to pull credit safe profile, I'm not going to pull any more today. You can on this live stream, but you can shoot me an email support at joshvanhorn.com. Again, support at joshvanhorn.com. 
and just put in there your, your company name and city and state and that you want me to pull your credit safe profile and I'll download it, email it to you in PDF file. Um, and I just, there's just way too many questions for me to get through. Um, so I can't really like, Yeah, I can't really go through like every single one. I'm sorry that I'm just scrolling through. And there's just way too many. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give away the grants now. And first you have to be here if I, you know, I'm giving away the grant and stuff. You have to be here um, just because I want everyone to see that, it, you know, it's real. I'm, you're the winner and everything that I'm not just like making this up, believe it or not, there's people that do that, you know. Um, anyways, so the first one that is picked here is uh, $200 GBC grant goes, uh, well, actually, I need to ask Sue who's here. If you're here right now, I already have the name here, but I want to make sure that you're here. Uh, So if you're here right now and you've already applied for the GBC grant, put in your name real quick. Even if you already did it, do it right now because this live stream is only going on for five or ten more minutes. If you're just tuning in, I'm sorry that you missed it, um, but it's going on about three hours now. Definitely go back and watch the replay after it's over. I definitely appreciate the support and, um, you know, now that I'm feeling much better, I will be back um, probably even tomorrow. If the demand's here, I might even do another live stream tomorrow because there's over like 300, two or 300 unanswered questions that I got coming in on Facebook and um, Facebook and here on YouTube. Um and I have another, I have it coming in through another group too on Facebook. That's not my group that someone connected it to. So some of these people, I don't even, they're new. So, um, I didn't expect this many people. I'm not complaining. I just can't go through everybody. It's not fair to everybody, you know, um, to go through them all. Um, okay. So, um, Right now I got uh, two, and I know two people are here. Uh, Regis and Son, I can't give you the grant right now because you won one of the websites before. Um, not to say you can't get one, uh, be qualified for one of the uh, grants later, but um, maybe after a couple of weeks from now, um, you'll qualify for one. I just want to try to give you know, people that you know, even those that got a got a grant from me in the past, I think we've gave away almost three thousand dollars right now to like about ten different people or so. Those people, I also don't give the free websites out to because I have to pay for those websites. You know, um, but I know you're loyal subscribers, so you know uh, you're you're definitely a runner up. So just stay tuned. Just let's give a couple weeks for other people to be able to um, have a chance as well to, you know, uh, get the grant. So anyways, um, I have right here. Yeah. Regis and son definitely just um, in due time, you know, maybe Definitely by July, you'll probably qualify for, you'll get picked, you know, because I got runner up list and people that just apply that, you know, like I said, there's over 700 people that applied, but there's only about 50 of you guys that I planned on ever giving grants to. And even if you're new, then you still apply, but 
you know, I give the grants to people that actually are participating in the channel and finding value because I want everybody to, you know, build up their business credit the correct way. So then the small grants that I'm giving away now aren't anything compared to what you're going to get in a couple of months from now, if you do everything right, you know? So anyways, without further ado, um, let's see here. I got one, two, let's see here. I got two people here. All right, I'm just right now doing the mark of my list, checking it twice. As you guys know, I can't give, you know, I got like eight here right now, and I want to give all of you guys, but I just, uh, you know, obviously can't afford that and this is also not a lottery channel you know so um so I'm just double checking that the people are here yep you're here wow uh, yep you're here and yep you are here And you are here. Okay. I got four. I was actually going to give maybe three out tonight, but there's like eight of you guys I want to give out, but I can only do four. Okay. Uh, so the first one is Jet Blue Print LLC. Am I saying it right? Uh, Tyon? Tyon? Am I saying it right? Um, you are a winner of $200 get business credit grant, small business, uh, credit grant, uh, shoot me an email in the subject section. Make sure you put uh, GBC grant winner and make sure you include your YouTube name in the email. Give me your PayPal email address for me to be able to send you a personal, uh, uh, PayPal payment over, or you can give me your um, information to send you a Zelle. I don't send Cash App, but I can do Zelle through my Navy Federal, or I can do PayPal, your choice. Um, so, Jet Blue Print LLC, or Tainan. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm sorry, I'm so bad with names, you guys, I'm pronouncing. Uh, Tynon, Tynon. If you were on the phone, tell me I could remember it perfectly and pronounce it right. <laughs> Sorry about that, Tynon. So you are the winner. You are one of the wonders. Um, Yeah, Michael J. Fox, he's my hero. Um, I don't want to go down that path. That's another subject and keep it going longer in the suspense. Anyways, that'll be another time. Um, anyways, uh, the next one is Kendra. Uh, Learn, see, taste, LLC. Kendra. Um also, shoot me an email. You're a winner of $200 Get Business Credit Grant. Um, shoot me an email, support at joshvanhorn.com. Again, support at joshvanhorn.com. You guys shoot me an email. Make sure you include your YouTube name, YouTube name and your information because you have to contact me. I'm not going to contact you. You need to give me the information, and then I'll send the payments over to you guys. Um, I got two more to give out. Uh, next one is Lincoln Image Printing Plus. Congratulations. And you are a longtime loyal subscriber. But uh, 
Also, $200 get business credit grant. Um, so, yeah, uh, you already know what to do. Shoot me an email. Um, and then the next one. Let's see here. I had it here. Hang on. I just... Okay, the next one is, this is the, uh, I guess, the final one, because I already gave away Kendra Learn C Taste LLC, $200 grant, and Jet Blueprint LLC, uh, tying on, and then Lincoln Image Printing Plus. Um, and the final winner is the for the fourth grant for tonight. And I'll give another one or two next week. So you guys stay tuned, but, uh, I'll do my best to, um, but the next one is choice events and consulting Dwayne King. You are a winner as well. Support at joshvanhorn.com. Again, support at joshvanhorn.com. Make sure you include your YouTube name and your business name and how you want to be paid. I only pay through uh, Zelle and um, PayPal direct personal payment. So congratulations to you four. I know it's not a whole lot, but hopefully it will help you for at least some type of uh, office or expense that you have. Um, so those that did not win, um, definitely, I definitely want to, um, pick you guys. Of course, I have you guys' name on the short list. So, you know, I have a short list, especially those that keep tuning in. You'll be a uh, possibly winner in the next week or two. Okay. Learn, see, taste. Uh, no need to, you're welcome, but no need to donate Super Chat. That's what the money's there for. If you donate the Super Chat, uh, then it's just, you're just giving YouTube a small percentage of it. There's no need for that. You take it and use it, uh, you know. It, it, the Super Chats are for those that maybe uh, have extra money, um, you know, that are just looking for the business information and that are able to, you know, if you have extra money or something, you want to help other new business owners, you can donate, um, uh, through the super chat, that money goes into the same fund to give back to the others on here. Um, and, or you can go to the GoFundMe because I have a, a page up on GoFundMe. A couple of you guys have donated on there as well. So um, let me see here. A few less final words. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, we'll be talking about Michael J. Fox in the coming, probably in July, of something news I want to talk about, about Michael J. Fox. Um, but, yeah, my birthday was a couple of days ago, and I donated uh, basically my own money to uh, Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's. It's one of those things that's uh, very near and dear to me. Thank God for the medicine that can control the tremors that for for most of us that have Parkinson's, but some people have it so bad where they have to have something implanted in the back of their brain. Mine are not that bad. Thank God I got on after Levodopa, Cardopa, several other medicine that made you feel really bad because uh, 
synthetic dopamine. Um, finally got on uh, Requip, and that's the name of the drug, and it makes see my hands are not shaking. But in the morning, they're all over the place. Anyways, I don't want to bore you right now. It's getting late and stuff. There's still over 30 people. Um, maybe tomorrow I will do another live stream. Um, you guys check face or YouTube tomorrow. I'll do another poll. Um, and probably in the next hour or two. And if you guys want me to do another live stream, just vote yes or no. Um, you know, because I want to No, it's father's day tomorrow. So I'm not really doing much, but maybe, uh, Monday, we'll say Monday. If you want to do a live stream Monday, I don't want to take away from you guys and kid kids time and stuff. Anyways. Um, again, happy father's day, everybody. And congratulations to those four that won. And you guys, please, even though you're heading out now, we're heading out, please double check that you hit that thumbs up because that even you hit that thumbs up and the live stream's over, it helps the live stream get out, kicked out to um, a wider audience for the replay. You know, we would definitely want to grow this channel. That's what helps grow this nice Get Business Credit family community that we have. It's really awesome community here. It's unlike no other channel out there, um, you know, and even if you're a newer subscriber, you'll start to learn a lot of the people that are always tuning in or pretty much the, always the same people. And you really get to know each other and everybody kind of helps their, each other out, you know? So, um, again, love you guys all. It's already three hours and 20 minutes now, but, Definitely, if you didn't check my past video that I put out earlier today about the um, small business payroll service, it does business credit reporting, and it's only like 60 bucks a month, even if you're just a one-man or one-woman shop. It doesn't matter what type of business it is. You you know you may want to watch that video and check it out. Um, you guys have any other questions, shoot me an email, support at joshvanhorn.com. As always, I'll do my best to answer your questions. Or you can actually send me a text if it's very short. Uh, don't send me a long text because it's on the phone, you know. But uh, you can shoot me a short text at 937 area code 877-2009. Again, that's 937-877-2009. And if uh, you have any little question, I can get back to you quick um, on there if you send me something in the next couple hours. Because where I am at, it's actually uh, almost 1 p.m., not a.m. I'm 12 hours ahead of Eastern Standard Time here at my call center in the Philippines. Anyways, until next time, you guys take care. Stay tuned until next week because I definitely have tons of new content coming out. You don't want to miss it. Just like you guys can see here on my TV here. We're going to be all these here. You see Dunn Brushy, Equifax, Small Business Financial Exchange. I don't have credits. I don't have credit save on there. But experience. You got the ADB card, Best Buy, Divi, Tap on Tap, Fuel Man, Business, uh, BP, MasterCard. See all those. You guys know about all and maybe, maybe have most of those. But... This is going to be replaced next week with new ones that you don't know about or you haven't got approved for. All new ones. So you guys uh, stay tuned for sure. You guys take care. As always, love you all. Take it easy. Be safe. Spend time with the family. Bye-bye. Keep building that business credit. Bye-bye.